How's it going everyone? Manus Party here. And yeah, this is the first mainstream I'm going to be doing on a regular basis now. So I am super excited to be here today um, to kick off this Road to Rank journey and to kick off the stream journey as well. So today is going to be a great day. Um, yeah, it's finally here. Like it's, it, this has definitely been a plan of mine for quite a while. And now I can finally come together and yeah, have some fun, put this together, get some games in and yeah. Play some more Pokemon and chat with some more like-minded people. So I am really excited for today. I hope it goes well. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into some games and like start the talking. So uh, looking at this at the moment, the top left, you'll see my win-loss ratio at the moment for uh, my mill deck, which is the one I'm going to be primarily playing today. I do have another deck I wouldn't mind some feedback on. It's more of a fun one. It's not super serious, but I'll showcase that in a little bit. Um, it's one of those like, I don't know, midnight thoughts that I put together was like, hey, this would be a cool deck. I put it together and it's just not as cool as I would like. So I'll definitely showcase that in a little bit and maybe get some feedback on that and see if we can make something fun together. All right, um, the road to ranked, I've got a ways to go because I think there were, what, two weeks left in this ranked season? And I got a thousand, what, a thousand four hundred? What do I need? A thousand... Yeah, I gotta get like a thousand three hundred rank gain. So, um, <laughs> got a bit of work to do. So let's jump into a few games. I will update the win-loss ratio as it progresses. Um, maybe let's actually put a background behind it, because the you can't really see the 3-1 very nicely. But let's see how this goes. Alright, so starting things off, um, like I said, I'm to, I will be playing primarily my mill deck. I am 100% open to different ideas, and if you've got an interesting deck, please send it through. Like, I'm super keen to try it. Um, you know I love the weird, the wonderful, and the funny. So if you've got an in interesting deck idea, I would be more than happy to give it a try, if you can drop it in the chat. Alright, so let's see what we've got going today. As always, this is a deck I always want to go second with. Um, it performs better that way, because ideally you want to get the supporter out as soon as possible, to start milling as quickly as possible. And not with an opening hand like that. Nothing's happening. Um, Okay, that's... This is not awful. Poke Gear could be really good here. So the Poke Gear into an Explorer could really do it. Because if I can pick up a double energy, I get it. So this could work. Um, I have the Sardis Vitality, but Vitality doesn't help me that much. Uh, because I don't have anything about Discord Pile just yet. So which is not what I want to see. Um, oh, and I'm going first. Never mind. Uh, so let's go nest ball. And let's pull out a comfy just in case. Ooh, actually, maybe let's get a Greninja going. Let's get a Greninja going. I know I can't use it just as of yet, but let's see. Uh, I'm not going to pop anything else, because in case I do like an Iron or something, I reach out for more ha my hand. I don't want to see that. You know, I actually probably should have put the comfy forward, because I could start getting the draws going. Maybe I'm Wargo Artisan then. Because come face ability I can do on the first turn. So you know what? I'm actually gonna go for that. Um, I should have pulled Kamfei first, not uh, not Greninja. Because I wouldn't have had to use this um, artisan just yet. Switch to Kamfei. And let's go. Kamfei. Why can't I use this? Oh my god, Flutter Main. One day. One day I'm actually gonna look at my opponent's Pokemon and use my brain. Like, going into this game, I was like, oh, sweet, Fluttermain, it's not going to have any effect on me. <sighs> One day, I promise, guys. I promise I'll use my brain. Alright. Um, anyway, I'm so glad I wasted my time with that. And gave my opponent a free artisan. Anyway. Um, starting off strong. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, yeah. I promise I can read. Oh, this is the Burnett deck. This is an ugly deck for me to go into. So the issue with this is the Everlasting Darkness. So Everlasting Darkness is a huge issue for my Great Tusk deck because I rely on a lot of Pokemon tools. So this is going to be a very difficult game. Um, I needed that. I desperately needed that. So let's go for... I want to go for an artisan quickly. 
Let's get a great tusk out. I don't want to reveal the Mimikyu just yet. I want to let, I want to bring the Mimikyu literally like prize, co prize card 5, prize card 6, way, way, way at the end. Um, because I want to, oh, there's a double energy. I want to try and essentially trap my opponent. Okay, that's the side of that's not bad. Um, because I can now go switch into Grey Tusk. Get the double energy down. Get the vitality down to start loading up the second Grey Tusk. And I can start the mill process. There's a counter catcher. This is uh, still gonna help though because of the everlasting darkness. Uh, which is a huge problem uh, for me. That did get rid of a switch, which is good. Getting rid of Iono is always good because Iono's a ironically a really big issue with this deck. Oh, these bosses. What are they going? Kampe? A Raiding Greninja. That's a bit annoying. Um, I think I'll start knocking out that way. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of an annoying game. Um, but Net EX is frustrating. Okay, they did go for Prof's Research. Oh, they discarded Prof's Research. Okay. Um, but Net EX is an issue. The Everlasting Darkness just shuts down this deck really, really hard. Um, at least I can get Concealed Cards off for the moment. But. It does put me in a really awkward spot. Uh, Team Roski, oh boy, another bad Burnett vs. Mill matchup like your last video. Yes, also, welcome, my friend. Um, yeah, this is this is unfortunate. This is one of the matchups I genuinely do not like playing into. Um, it's a really, really tough matchup. Um, let's, let's do an Artisan. Let's bring down another... Great Tusk. I also have a Great Tusk prized, which is a bit annoying. Um, okay. Um, so I can always just put the energy here and retreat out, right? Do I just do that? I think I just do that, right? Yeah, let's just retreat out. I need to get this mill going as soon as possible. Because uh, I need to get... I need to get this engine going. I could have started, man. Why didn't I do Vitality? Okay. I'm hoping that I'm not, they don't have another boss's orders just as of yet. Um, yeah, this is, this is frustrating. Okay. They did play a research, which is very good for me. They're going to bring out a boss's orders, I assume. I think that's their best play here. We bring up boss's orders, trying to hit the raiding Greninja, just slowing me down as much as possible. I went for Arvin. Arvin makes sense, I guess. Yeah, this is this is a tough one. I I just need to get as much mill off as consistently as possible. Because the issue with this Bonetta EX is that I'm not going to be able to get my Pokemon tools off, and I'm no longer running um, boss's orders. I took the boss's orders out of this deck for counter catches. I don't think I don't think I have a single boss's orders in this deck anymore. Um, so this is a, quite annoying as a matchup. And League Headquarters, I hate. Um, it's a nightmare of a card for me. So let's get that out of the way for now. Let, how many energies do I have here? I've got two already. So let's go for Vitality. Let's go one. Let's go two. I am actually going to bring up Mimikyu at this point. Do I bring it out now? Because I'm concerned I'm not going to be able to get it out earlier. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm worried I'm not going to be able to get it out later. If I don't drop it now. Because the thing is, I don't want to mill myself too much. No, I've got time. Because I, I don't want to reveal it too early. Because if I re reveal it too early, they'll charge up the Flutter And I'm in trouble. So I want to keep it hidden for now. Um, so let me go for one more draw quickly with concealed cards. Let's chuck that away. Okay, there's an Explorer's Guidance, which means I'm good for next turn. And then let's just go land collapse. I do do I want to touch the energy? I do want to touch the energy on Great Tusk actually. And let's go land collapse. Uh, Team Roski uh, really reminds me of the item lock uh, Vikavolt archetype. That was so broken back in Sword and Shield. Yeah. 
Uh, it's a very annoying archetype. It's very difficult to play into. Um, so props to our opponent. It's a great deck. I mean, it does fantastic things. Um, and it's very annoying to play into. Because it just locks you out so quickly. It does obviously have its better matchups. Um, but it's fantastic because you can shut down um, Ray Candies. No more evolving Charizards. It's just completely... You're gone. So it is. It's a very, very good archetype to play into. Um, and it does look like quite a fun deck. Um, honestly, if I get my hands on four Bonettes, I probably will run the deck myself. Because it is... I mean, look, I guess it is a mess deck at the moment. Oh, there's Pokemon League headquarters. Um, but it is... I want to say an alternative deck. Um, which doesn't rely on just charging up one Pokemon, bashing your opponent's head in. So that is something I do appreciate. Um, yeah, I have to go for Guidance here. I'd love to use Pelpaz, but I don't think they're going to do anything. Man, this is so awkward. Like, I'd want to take a Pelpad in case my opponent does go for Poltergeist at some point in the game. Like, if ever they go for Poltergeist, that gets me a win. That is that is my win con. Like, I need my opponent to go for Poltergeist. That's how I win this game. So I'm going to try and bait them into going for Poltergeist. And hope they fall for it. That is honestly my best bet at the moment. Is I hope they fall into going for Poltergeist by mistake. I'll go to Hero's Cape, which is always fun. Go with the Ditto, go with the Eerie, which is not bad. Um, so you recall there's nobody involved for one of your Pokemon. Oh, there's an energy placement. Okay. Um, Team Roski, yeah, in most cases, if they lock your turn two, you'll be struggling to draw your pe uh, pieces in order to play your strategy, unless you're lucky enough to top deck the right cards. Yeah. Um, it's not an easy archetype to play into, by any means. Uh, sorry, they went for... Um... I assume they went for Everlasting Darkness, right? I was busy reading the chat, I didn't actually see which attack they went for, but I assume it was Everlasting Darkness. Yeah, it, did. it was. Um, it's Fortune Sisters. Okay, well, I got two of theirs. They're running Alakazam. Like the Spot Ops. Okay. That's fine. Uh, that's okay. Getting onto the Switch, I mean, it's not bad. They are down to nine cards, so they now are on a timer. Which is a good thing for me. But the problem is... I'm... I'm also now not running the best situation. So we've only got one more Great Tusk left. So I'm actually going to put Comfey forward on the next one. To try and get out what I need. Um, because with the League Headquarters down... They went for it? Oh my man. Oh my friend. That was a poor choice. You got greedy. You went for Porter, guys. So you got greedy. So the thing is, they have to now start getting greedy because they need... They're running out of cards in their deck. So they can't just play Everlasting Darkness. Which is fantastic for me because now I can start getting my things going. That is fantastic. Okay, double turbo energy. That's great. So let's go... First of all, let's go to Poke Gear down. Uh, Vitality. I'm happy with that. Um... Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go for Pelpad. Let's bring back Vitality and that. Because I need to refresh my deck. Alright. Let's go Counter Catcher. Luminion. Let's double check here quickly. This is the Seal one, right? That's fine. Uh, let's bring Luminion. F they all retreat cost one anyway. So let's bring Luminion forward with Counter Catcher. Um, let's use a second Pelpad. Let's just bring these back into my deck because I want to make sure my deck is as full as possible. Because I'm not going to get another chance to get this off, essentially. Um, let's go for Vitality here. I, need, I really need to get my rods out. I didn't get my rods. That's very annoying. Um, let's drop that down. I did get it. Let's... I think, yeah, let's get that out, off of them. I know it's not enough, but it's a start. And... Yeah, let's just go for land collapse. 
I don't want to attach the energy. I don't want to draw a card at this point. I should have actually gone for another Poke here. That was silly. I should have gone one more Poke here. So now they're on a really, really tight clock. And unless they've got a way to get the their hand back into their deck, I've got this. Um, that's fine. I'm not really worried about that. I think I do have this. Alright, um, Team Roski, by the way, how long have you been playing Pokemon TCG since you came back? Since I came... It's been two weeks? I think it's been about... It's, I think it's been two weeks now since I came back. Um, I want to say two weeks. Alright. Um, there's Super Rod. Fantastic. One, two, three. Put those back in. Um, and now... Let's go Counter Catcher. Bring out the Luminian again. Let's use Comphase, Flower Selecting. Um, I actually need a heavy board here because I know that one of my uh, Great Tusks are a prize card. Let's bring that forward. Okay, let's get you down, my friend. Let's get you down, my friend. Um, let's drop a Poke Gear. Got Explorer's Guidance, fantastic. I don't have a way to get the Comfy forward just yet. So I'm going to let the Comfy just sit there. Let's go forward to some Misfortune Sisters this turn. Um, Alright, that's fine. Those are their two draws. It's not like they're going to play them. Um, let's go for another Poke Gear. Cool, got that in my hand. I think I'm actually set up. I just need an Energy, but I guess I can get it from Vitality, so that's fine. Yeah, I think we've actually closed this game. That's fantastic. I'm really, really happy with this. Um, this is a hard matchup. And thankfully, my opponent... My opponent went heavy on their draws. And them going heavy on their draws got me the win. Like, if you're playing Bonnet EX into Mill, cool your draws. 100% cool your draws. Because you've got the game. You just need to play it slow. Because... Um, yeah, once you enable to get, enable me to get my stuff out of my discard pile, I'm I'm sorted. I'm good. Um, bosses, that's annoying. It's annoying for sure, but it's okay because I do have Explorer's Guidance, so I know I've got my cards left in my deck. I'm not terribly concerned with this because again, they've got one card left in their deck, and they've still got three prize cards. Well, down two prize cards. And I don't think they have a way of knocking out two Pokemon. So I should be fine with this. So put the Kumpay forward for now. And let's see what we got here. There's the Great Tusk. That's great for me. Let's go for Vitality. We get an Energy. We get that. There's the Miku. There's the Great Tusk. Um, we'll go for a Crushing Hammer. We get the Crushing Hammer. Let's get that, get rid of that, goodbye. And counter catcher, Luminian one more time. And let's go flower selecting. Bring out the rod. Sadly using the great task, but that's okay. And super rod this. Bring back that last one and two of the energies. I think that's me. Yep. All right, not bad. Um, I like I said, I think I'm feeling pretty confident that I've got this now. Ah, uh, the Pidgeot V. That's annoying. And that's the I know. Okay, Pidgeot V is an issue because this makes it very difficult for me to mill them out. So. Once you turn this Pokemon is on your bench, you may shuffle it and all attached cards. So Prime Catcher could come in super clutch here. Prime Catcher can come in super, super clutch here. And I think I can do it this turn. Because I need to go for Vitality. And I go... Oh, I can't do it this turn. I'm one energy short. i got to do it next turn. That's okay, I can do it next turn. Yeah, I need to do it next turn because of uh, Pokemon League Headquarters. 
Yeah, I could wait until next turn. Okay, that's fine. I could wait until next turn. Let's put... Uh, I got four cards left in my deck. Let's go super rod quickly. Ooh, let's just put one back. And... Let's pass the turn. Let's pass the turn. So, the play here, right, is... Okay. So, the play here is I Prime Catcher. Pidgeot V forward. Great Tusk forward. The bug is going to get me. I think I'm gonna lose this to the bug. Oh, this is annoying. I think I might lose this because of the bug. Wait, no. Pulpad can save me. Okay, Pulpad can save me. It's okay. I can use Pulpad. Alright. Uh, so there's a very annoying bug where if you've got no cards left in your deck, the land crush only mills one card. So that should get around the bug. Yeah, I got it. Alright, that was the play. <laughs> that was very close. So, the bug at the moment with the land crush is that if you've got no cards in your deck, and you would get the full mill with the land crush, it only mills one card. Um, last I played, what is it, two days ago, I still had the bug. So, I don't know if they fixed it just as of yet, but... Um, yeah, I'd rather play safe around. So, being able to go into those pole pads was actually super important, because I needed to go into either the pole pad or the rod. Which I think I'd use up all of my rods. Otherwise, I would have lost that game to a bug, which is very annoying. <laughs> but yeah, I picked a win. Oh, let me change my thing. Yeah! Okay. Uh, we are now on four wins to one loss with this deck, which is crazy cool. Um, Roski, do you remember someone named Stupidolfan966? Yeah, back in the days when we played theme decks and most of your content was about theme decks. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Is that you, bud? Um, did you end up just changing your YouTube name? Okay. Heads, I want to go second. 100% I want to go second. Every single time I'll be choosing second with this deck. Um, Team Roski, can't believe the game still has bugs. The resolution of the cards, if you don't focus on them, is terrible. It's also blurry. I miss the old TCG game. The sound effects alone were S tier. Oh, I got no basic Pokemon. Um, look, so, uh, two things to break down in the comment. Bugs, I accept. Bugs, bugs happen. Um... It's annoying. As a player, it's annoying. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've been gaming my entire life, so I do get where you're coming from. Bugs are always very annoying. They are difficult to sometimes resolve. Um, I do wish, especially like this interaction where it's vital for the deck, like, I wish they would be quicker to fixing the bugs. I'm, I have no issue with bugs being found in the game. Oversights happen, weird things happen with code, I 100% accept that. This could be a very bad matchup for me if they're running Iron Hands. Um, so bugs, I accept. No problem. Not fixing bugs is something I have an issue with. When you know that, you know, this is Iron Hands, this is a really bad matchup as well. Um, when you know you've got a bug in your de in your game and you don't fix it, or you take six, eight, ten months to fix it, that's where my issue lies. So I'm hoping they resolve this quickly. I understand that companies do have timelines, do have timeframes, um, that they need to get things done in a certain order. I've got no problem with that. And I completely understand that. Um, but at the same... Ooh, I can't lose two rods. Um, sorry, we want to think about this quickly. I need Sada and I need Super Rod here. Yeah, that's fine. Um... I was hoping to go into the uh, double energy. What do I have in my hand at the moment? Yeah, let's go for Greninja. If I can get a double energy off of this uh, concealed cards, I'm in a really good spot then. Nah, I don't. That's sad. Um, it's okay, it happens. Let's put that there. Let's just throw a heavy ball down to see if one of mine is a prize card. Mimikyu. Uh, Mimikyu's. Mimikyu could do a bit this game, actually. Mimikyu can do some work this game. Um, 
And Super Rod is way too early to drop that. I don't need Super Rod just yet. Pokey, I don't want to drop. I think that's about it, unfortunately. I don't want to drop a Mikyu just yet. In case they are able to hit it. Alright. This is past the turn for now. Bit of a slow one. I would have liked to have get, gotten the double turbo energy off of that. But it's fine. Um, so anyway, back to the whole bug thing. Bugs happen, no problem. Not fixing bugs, huge problem. Um, what was the second part of the comment again? Uh, oh yeah, the, the game. Yeah, look, the... So, for the, for the main part, visually I'm happy with this game. I thought I know is an issue, I wish I played MQ now. Visually, for 99% of the game, I'm happy. Ah, oh, there's my double turbo energy. I'm happy. I don't have an issue with it. Um, there are instances where it's annoying. I agree. Um, but overall, it's fair. I would say. Uh, I do miss the sound effects of the previous game, and they were awesome. Um, I don't need double turbo energies right now. I need other things. Um, mm, I'm actually in a bit of a bad spot right now. Let's drop this. Okay, there's Comfort, which is good. Um, I'm gonna pop out for one at the moment, which is a bit annoying. Let's drop this. Uh, get rid of those two. Ooh, this is actually not a great game. Uh, I'm gonna mill one, which is something, but it's not nearly enough. Alright, next generator, that's a good mill. Um, look, overall, I've I've been decently happy with this new iteration of the game. The PCG Online, uh, PCG Live. Um, overall, I'm happy with it. Um, as a way to play the game again, I'm really happy. Because it's difficult for me to play this in person these days. Um, and as you can see behind me, I have a very expensive hobby sitting on the shelf. So, I don't need another expensive hobby. Uh, so being able to do this online is something I do appreciate. Um, it is sad that the old game had to go away, because it was awesome. Uh, I did love it. But thing, things things do happen. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I'd rather go for the Pokey at this point, actually. Losing the Pulpad is never fun, but that's of life. Um, oh man, these Iron Crowns are annoying, so let's come say hello to Iron Crown, please. And Heavy Ball I've used already, so let's go for Poke Gear. I get nothing of Poke Gear, which is frustrating. We have to just use Guidance. Um, I need a Rod right now, and I need a Double Turbo Energy. I don't want to throw away double toe energy. The rest of the stuff I can get back relatively easily. I'm not terribly concerned with crushing hammers or switches. Let's do that. Alright. We can do super rod now. Bring back those two and energy. Let's go back into the deck. Um, pell pads. Let's use pell pad before I lose it. And vitality. Put that back in. I'm tempted. You know what? I actually need to. I don't want to lose double energy, but I'm... Um, thank you. That's what I needed. I needed a great tusk out. Okay. And now I can pass the turn. Um, Team Rusty. Yeah, that was me. Always uh, always playing the Volcro in a GX deck. Yeah, and the Raikou theme decks. Nice, man. I'm glad you're still playing. I'm really glad you're still playing. That's super exciting. Ugh, the Prime Catcher. Um, that's really cool, mate. I'm glad you're still in the game. Um, and still rocking. Oh, that was a good prime catch for my opponent. I was worried about that. I was hoping they were running the cloak instead. Um, man, that's double turbo energy as well. That's annoying. Oh, go on back. Yay. Um, okay, let's, what do I get from flower selecting? Not what I wanted. Pulpa is not bad. The issue is I'm running out of I'm running out of basic Pokemon, which is a frustration. 
full counter catcher again to try and slow this game down a bit. I'm going to hold off on using concealed cards for the moment. I'm going to give it one more turn. Because I would prefer not to lose the double turbo energy. So I'll give it one more turn. Let's see how it goes. Um, Team Roski, glad you like the new game though. Um, it is indeed an expensive hobby. And here in live it's basically free. Which is awesome. It is it is something I do truly appreciate. Um, oh, switch. Man. Um, yeah, I, I do appreciate that it's essentially free. Um, well, it is free for the most part. Obviously you have the option to spend money. Um, but that's game. Yeah, I just, I didn't draw what I needed to draw this game, unfortunately. Well played to my opponent, though. Good game. Just didn't get what I needed. Duh, there's Mimikyu. <laughs> Could use Mimikyu a while back. But again, it doesn't really matter with him right on. Um, I mean, I can do this to annoy them, but they just retreat into Maridon, and they pick up the win. So, well played to my opponent. Um... Yeah, Iron Hands, Iron Hands is a hard matchup. It's a really, really tough matchup. And my opponent got these switches when they needed to get them, which is fantastic. Like, again, I'm not complaining. They played it super well. So it props them in that sense. Um, yeah, they got what they needed when they needed it. And unfortunately, I didn't, which is part of the game. Um, hey, Ranger's Ghost. How's my friend? Um, yeah, I kind of miss the old standard... What? I kind of miss the old TCG, but I like the way it's easier now for beginners in standard and not just theme decks. Um, even though I really enjoy the theme decks. So, I do agree with you there, Rangers. In, well, both of those, essentially. I do find this new format... Let's see, update my win loss quickly. I do find the new format much... Oh, not format. The new way they are doing things much friendlier for new players. In the sense that you just get the top tier decks. I mean, the fact that... Come on. The fact that you're just given, like... Where is it now? Shinpao EX. Amazing. You're just given Zorak. A uh, Zorak, which is also doing fantastically. is amazing. You're just given... Um, where is... Charizard. You're just given Charizard. You're just giving Roar and Moon EX. Um, is awesome. And with this format... With them not being tied to physical physical decks, like physical products, being able to ship these decks to the player base is really nice. Being able to go digital is only a good thing. It's one of my current biggest gripes with Warhammer, is the rule set for Warhammer is still tied to physical codexes, which are beautiful. I love, I love the codexes. I mean, I picked up the... Um, the Tao Special Edition Codex. I love them. Artwork's amazing. I love the lore on them. I love being able to read them. The problem I have is that the points are printed in the Codex. So I just I just bought myself the new rulebook for Tao, the new Codex for Tao. The points in the book are wrong. It's literally brand new and the points are wrong and I can't use those, which is very annoying. Um, and because the rule set is printed, and you have to buy the rule set, which is another gripe I have, it's very slow to change, which frustrates me. So going back to Pokemon, what I like with the new... Am I going first or second? I'm going second. I could get super lucky. Do I just go super greedy here? No, let me play smart. Um, what I like with this is, with them no longer having the beginner-friendly starter decks tied to physical products, they can just push them out at whatever pace they want, and they're good to go. So they're not, they're not forced to wait. And every time they bring out a new uh, pack, they can just bring out new, new starter decks. Easily, cheaply, no problem. The other side of that is, unfortunately, it's... You can't, like, go to shops, buy your deck, and then have that same deck online. Granted, you can just build it. It's not terribly hard. So, there is a bit of give and take, both ways. Um, but I do think the new format is really, really nice. And, like, they give you genuinely good decks. I mean, you can pick up that Charizard deck, jump straight into ranked. You will do 
decently well. Yes, edit the deck a bit and you'll do better. But I mean, you can pick up that deck out the box and you can play it. And it's a pretty damn decent deck. So yeah, I, I do like... I like the movement forward that they're doing. And like, you get high value cards in those decks. I mean, what, you look at Charizard EX? That's probably one of the best cards in Standard right now. And you get two, three copies of it in the deck? I mean, it makes building decks so much easier. Um, I'm gonna keep this a secret, Mummy Q. So, I, I genuinely do appreciate and like the way forward that they've chosen to go. Um, obviously, I'm sad. I miss theme decks. I loved the theme decks because they weren't these crazy overpowered decks. So, I do miss the the slower format. Don't get me wrong. I miss the slower format a lot. Um... I am don't want to lose two rods, actually. Do I need double energy? Do I need Artisan? I've got one rod. Is Artisan better than Rod? I don't think so. The thing is, it sets my opponent up. Which is what I don't want. Um, I'm going to take double energy, rather. I'll keep Artisan. So let me play the turn out quickly because I need to think for this one. Um, just put that there for now. Uh, I guess pass. You know what? I should have actually brought a good ninja out. No, oh, wait, I can't. Sorry, never mind. Um, I can't because Trick Ninja has a rule box. Yeah, so. Yeah, it, it, I'm, on, I'm on both sides of that. I do miss the old theme decks, but I do like these new decks at the same time. Um, I think they're very beginner friendly, which is nice. Uh, team Roski, you know, legally like the team decks too. Um, yeah, we used to trade for meta card. It was horrendous for real. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Um, being able to get the meta cards now is much easier. Uh, and you do have access to your like card crafting resource relatively easily, which is good. Um, like I said, overall, I don't have a lot of bad to say about Pokemon Live. It's it's working really well. Um, and, I mean, as I said earlier, it's free. <laughs> I, I know I sound super stingy saying that. But at the end of the day, it's a free product. You have the option to pay more money to go into it. But you have the option to not do anything, not pay anything, and you can play the game. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly, I can't complain. I, yeah. <laughs> I can't complain that hard. Alright, let's get that forward. Um, Super Rod. It's a bit early for Super Rod. Pelpad. I can go for Pelpad right now. Let's go for Pelpad. Let's get these two friends back in the deck. Um, and let's see. Oh, I can't use a Sada yet because I don't have any energies in my discard pile. That's frustrating. Um, I don't want to help my opponent because it looks like my opponent's having a bit of a hard time with their hand. Um, yeah, let's just let's let's take a chill. Let's see how it goes. All right, ten types. Hey, my friend. Welcome. I'm glad you made it today. Um, yeah, I miss theme decks so much. I I do miss them. Yes, and the theme tournaments. That was fun. How do you add someone to chat? You. Uh, I thought you could just add to type their name. Um, that's so weird. I wonder why I'm still working on mobile. That's odd. Yeah, I I tip, typically don't watch. Live streams on mobile, so I'm not sure on that one. Um, that's weird. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's working that way. Ah, oh, they got the energies for the retreat. Ah, that's annoying. Um, yeah, that's really weird. 
Okay, well, I'm glad you came around in the end, my friend. All right. Um, yeah, I was hoping I was hoping that they didn't have two energies in their hand um, to be able to get the retreat sorted out, but they did at the end. So I'm going to have to go for Artisan this turn because I need to not lose the game. Okay. Um, I wouldn't mind drawing into account capture at this point because I do need to slow down the Chin Pao because I've not been able to mill nearly as much as I would like. Because I, mean, I still haven't gotten a, a single... I haven't gotten a single good land collapse off yet, which is an issue. Um, there's Great Tusk, fantastic. Artisan, let's drop this. And let's bring out another Great Tusk. I will drop the Mimikyu at this point, I think. No, it's still too early. I need to leave Mimikyu right at the end. Yeah, the thing is, I need this Great Tusk to go down so I can start using Vitality. So let's just go Land Collapse. Yeah, I, was, I know I got greedy last turn with the... Ooh, boss is good. Um, popping the Prime Catcher early. I was hoping they didn't have two energies because it looked like they were struggling with their hand. But they ended up having enough energies to get out. Um, yeah, that's a bit annoying, but hey. Also, if you are watching the live stream, I really would appreciate just liking the live stream because it does help pull in and direct more people towards the live stream. So, hey, hey, I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, so we can get more people talking. I do think after this game, I want to showcase my new deck that I've been working on because I would love some ideas for that deck. The, so the idea is a, a more chill deck. It's not super competitive. It's not running the big cards. It's a single prize deck as well, which I, I enjoy making single prize card decks. Um, I guess I'm showing my age that I'm not the biggest fan of EXs and Vs and all that other, all the big boys. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Uh, I, I like single prize Pokemon. Um, it's just, yeah, <laughs> me being a Gen 1 fan, um, and liking tradition, maybe too much, is something I do appreciate. Is that my second Great Tusk down now? Yeah, it is. That's not good. I have not milled this game. This has been a really bad start, actually. This has been a terrible start. Alright, let's get that one forward. I might need to go to Mimikyu earlier than I would have liked. Um, there's Pelpad, which I will def definitely be needing up in a second. Um, Vitality, one, two. Please let me draw energy off, off of this. Thank you. Alright, let's get one energy down there. Um, let's go for Super Rod. Let's get these friends back into the deck. Let's bring those friends back into the game. Uh, let's bring the Comfey forward first. Uh, let's drop the Pelpad to get Vitality back. Sisters, meh. It's mainly the Vitality which I care about. Um, I don't want to show Mimikyu just yet. Maybe the next... Actually, Mimikyu now is not a bad idea to buy me some time. Let me show the Mimikyu. Let's see. Let's see. So the, the reason I typically try and hold on... Ooh, there's Greninja gone. I typically try to hold on to the Mimikyu until a little bit later, but I'm a bit worried with how this game is going. So if I can force them to put some energies on, onto Backscalibur instead, I'll be kind of okay with that right now. Um, let's see, Dimroski, Ranger's Ghost, the only thing I definitely don't miss is agility from Rapidash. My word. That, like, I feel like I still have PTSD from agility. How you could just sit there and, like, if your opponent just flipped six heads, and if you didn't have a gust, that was just game, mate. Like, enjoy your life. You were just sitting there enjoying nice little pixels on your screen, and you could do nothing about it. So that's something I definitely don't miss either, and I do have to agree with you there, is that I'm happy with that staying well in our past. And yeah, no, that was that was traumatic. That was very, very much traumatic. Uh, me too, single prize, uh, prize decks are fun. Not to be racist towards the multi-prize cards, but it is very, sorry, the heart emoticon goes over the chat, which is annoying. It's very interesting to use cards that don't see much play, is why I started the channel in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with you there. Um, the single prize is fun, and not to be that guy, but I feel like it's the way it's meant to be, like the way it's balanced around. 
or was originally balanced around. Um, something like another thing which bugs me is rare candy, and I know a lot of people run rare candy. It's a card in the game, so you got to play around it. That's fine. I don't think rare candy should work on Pokemon with a rule card. I have no issue with you rare candying into a normal stage two, but if you've got a rule card, be it EX, be it VMAX. I don't believe rare candy should work on those cards. And I think that would help tone down a lot of the crazy plays you're seeing by a lot. Be that a hot take as it is, or as it may be, I would like, I would love to see rare candy removed as it currently was, because I don't believe it's in a healthy spot right now. Um, I need to buy myself some time. So let me go put a Mimikyu forward. I I need a bit of time here. I'm not in a great spot right now. And I need I need time to draw. At the end of the day I need time to draw. And let's just put that there. Just pass the turn. So I'm gonna do a little bit of stalling at the moment. Um it's not what I like, and it's not where I want to be at the moment, but I think this is going to be a loss. Unfortunately, it took me too long to set up. I wasn't able to get the Great Tusks online as early as I would have liked. And my opponent got Shin Power active like that. So, yeah, this is going to be tough. Yeah, they've got the energy to knock up my queue. Yeah, I think I'm going to walk on with a loss with this one. I just wasn't able to set up quick enough. The PTSD from Rapidash? Dude, it's true. That agility, that hurt my soul. Like, that hurt me on an emotional level. Because you would just sit there and just enjoy pixels moving on the screen. And do absolutely nothing. And whenever I used it, all I got was tails. So, I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it one bit. Because I'm just sitting there, constantly failing in life. And my opponent's living the best life. And the mirror matches? Oh man, those mirror match. Oh, that works too. <laughs> the mirror matches are Rapidash into Rapidash. Oh, they just dragged on and on and on. Yeah, no, that was horrible. Why, why are you bringing up those memories, my friend? I don't need those. That is well in the past, for a good reason. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, thank you. I am, I am happy that's dead and buried. Uh, yeah, I've so lost this game. Put my Q forward again to try and install something else. Because the issue is I don't have... Oh, there's Vitality. Great. The one time I don't have a Great Task board. Um... <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't able to set up early enough, unfortunately. Um, I think I might just give my opponent this game. Because... Or do I try? I mean, let me try. Um, I I don't think I have a win con this game. Because if they have a single gust, they win. Which I think they do have. Or they got the energies to go into Backscalibur. So uh, I'm 99% sure I don't win this game. But let's see what happens. Um, yes, I agree. Rare candy should be nerfed. I immediately have to think about Charizard. No, like so like... That's the thing. Um, I think it's going to be very difficult to balance the game around Rare Candy. And it's it's really funny that it's such a powerful card. But if you look at, like, you, you mean you can't not have it. You have to run it, which is ridiculous. Um, and it's... When you got a card, that is an auto include. It needs to be nerfed. Or something needs to be done about it. Because it shouldn't, you shouldn't have to run it. And that's where my issue comes in. The fact that you have to run it is a reason to nerf it. Um, I'm needing a counter catcher here desperately. Fantastic, I've got a, got a counter catcher. Um, 
Uh, what do I do in this scenario, right? I go counter catcher. And I go... Vitality? I think that's the play, right? I go counter catcher. And I bring out... Badoof. I don't think it really matters at this point. Bring up Badoof. And I just pass the turn. Yeah, unfortunately this turned into a bit of a stall game. So yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying. Like, whenever you have something that you have to include, that's where I have issues. Um, and that's where I find it not fun. Is that if you have to have something, you you shouldn't need it. I don't, I don't know if I'm explaining it correctly. But, um... Ah, nice, they got it. Yeah. So basically, what I was trying to say is, if, if you require that card all the time, you shouldn't need that card. I keep thinking of the, like, the meme from Spider-Man No Way Home, that like, if you're nothing without this, if you're nothing without the suit, you don't deserve the suit. And I feel like Rare Candy is in that same scenario, where like, if your deck wouldn't function without Rare Candy, you shouldn't need Rare Candy. Um, anyway, that's my two cents on that. I don't want to harp on it for too long. Um, Good place for my opponent there. They definitely wiped the floor with me. Man, they're killing my win streak. What's happening today? On 4-3 now. Uh, I'm gonna just hide that for a second because I wanna, that's my tracker for, um, actually no, let's keep that as my tracker for, no, let, let's keep that, mm, what is that tracking? Is that tracking, is that only tracking the middle or is that tracking my win loss on the league? Let me keep that as my track on the win loss on the league. Let's keep that. So that's just my win loss for going up the ladder, on the ladder. I want to showcase my poison deck at the moment. So I've been playing around with this poison deck for a while now. Um, not a while now, been the last week. So essentially I want to run it around the idea of the Sneasler and around the Perilous Jungle is the idea for the deck. And essentially proccing poison from the Hisuian Overquill, which is just stupid poison damage, um, followed with the Arbok which is one NG for burn, confused, and poisoned. So the idea for this deck actually came from the, um, oh man, what's it called? Uh, the Brute Bonnet, the Toxic Powders, where the idea started with this deck. But uh, I didn't want to go the ancient route. Um, because I, I tried running the Wake as well. Um, walking Wake, and I wanted to make a single prize deck instead, because I felt like playing Poison, I wanted to slow the game down quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm running stuff like Giovanni's Charisma to slow down the energy game, which, eh, it's kind of eh. So I don't know, let me, let me play, the ga play a game with the deck and see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to jump into Casual with it though, because it's still very much in construction. I love poison. I think it's a really fun mechanic. Um, it's meh. <laughs> it, it, it has its ups and downs. Um, so I think this deck does need a bit of work. Um, but I think it's quite fun. I don't think it's a terrible deck. I think there's there's some inklings of an idea to get the deck to work. I just need to be able to get. I need to find a way to get the R box online more reliably and the the evolution Pokemon online more reliably. Um, that's what I'm struggling at, but at the moment with this deck is to get the evolutions out more reliably. Maybe I'd actually run the TM team evolution just to make it a bit more reliable. Um, yeah, because like it's fun, but it's very slow, which is the issue, and especially with stuff like that. Um, well, there's the Arbok, which is nice. It's It ends up being very slow, which is problematic. And it's past the turn. Um, yeah, Trinity Roski. Uh, it's also sad that some stage one Pokemon never see any play exactly because of the rare candy. Yeah, you, you, you're skipping out a third of the evolutionary line constantly, which is disappointing. I mean, like, 
When was the last time you saw Charmeleons that weren't immediately evolved into Charizards? Like, you're not, you're not playing with stage ones. You're literally playing with basics and stage twos. That's it. Um, and it's annoying. Like, it's, you're missing a large part of the game. And I, I don't, I don't feel like that's the way it should be. And again, like I said, be it a hot take or not, I, I don't like the current state of, um, of the rare candies. And I hope it's something that has changed. Okay, let's get Quillfish down. Um, that's Ultra Ball, Dark Patch, and Basic Energy. And I want to bring out the Sneasler. Let's get that down for a very nice Synthesis Ambition. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. This is coming together very nicely all of a sudden. All right. And Panic Poison. And yeah, this is where the deck, like, this came together best that it's ever happened in my practice games. Um, so yeah, now I'm just, you just starting to throw down massive damage onto your opponent. So yeah, that's 70 damage between turns, which is fantastic. Um, I mean, and now they're confused on top of everything else, which is great fun. So now it's kind of a case of like, hey bud, do you switch out or do you stay in here? Um, because, yeah. <laughs> okay, they're gonna go for the switch. I saw the cart. So yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. I don't think we're ever gonna see that with Rare Candy, because, I mean, it's something so many people play. And, yeah. It is what it is, unfortunately. I think it's something we just gotta live with, which is very sad. Um, yeah. I'd love to see a change, but I don't think we will. So let's see what happens. Pokemon can't be paralyzed. Okay, that's fine. You're still getting knocked out in the next turn. Alright, ooh, there's boss's orders. Um, uh, I don't think knock out the, the, this is going to matter that much. I'd rather annoy them with their Raikou. So come back. Come back, my friend. Come be poisoned again. <laughs> You're not getting away that easily. Panic poison. Ah. Alright, there you go. You want to meme me with emot emoticons? I can do the same to you, my friend. Come back here. Come get confused. Come hit yourself in the head. Alright. Um, yeah, Team Roski, well, that's comparison with Spider-Man and spot on. That, yeah, that's my thing, mate. Like, it, and... So, like, it doesn't, it's not just do with, like, Pokemon. It's the same, like, I'm a huge Dota fan. I love Dota. If, and, I don't know, if, for those of you who play Dota, uh, when did the, the big last patch come out? A month, two months ago, when Solar Crest was obnoxious, and everyone was running Solar Crest because it was broken. And it was the Spider-Man case, where, like, every single support ran it. Because if you weren't, you were griefing. Like, there was no reason to not run it. Um, so they nerfed the item. Because you had to. Because there was nothing else to do. You had to nerf the item. Because otherwise it just would have been... It, it would, the game said it was terrible. And they nerfed the item. And guess what? The game is healthier and more fun. Because people found alternatives. Um, do they just get knocked out here? They're taking, how much damage? Two, four, they're taking 50. Uh, I'm gonna have to use Panic Poison again, that's annoying. I would have liked to have preserved the Arbok here, but it's gonna go down. Um, and yeah, so, nerfing the item that everyone was using made the game state healthier. Which was only a good thing in the long run. And now, unfortunately, that's something I'm not seeing with this, which I wish I wish we would see. Um, because it is it's very frustrating in the sense that 
Like, it's very clear that... <laughs> it's very clear that people are running it because it's OP. And I'm not judging a person for using Rare Candy. I've got nothing against using that card. It's a card. It's in the meta. It's there to be used. It makes your deck better. By all means, use it. The issue I have is with the design behind the card. That's where my issue lies. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, I also want to build a poison deck. Uh, there is also a stadium card that increases poison damage counters. This one? Is this the one you talk about, Ranger's Ghost? Oh, we run the stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Perilous Jungle. It's really fun. But what annoys me is it doesn't hit dark Pokemon. So this poison deck flounders against um, Charizard, which is very annoying. Not of flounders, but it's not as good. Um, yeah, it's very annoying. I'm an idiot. I can't poison this. Oh, this is fusion of mine. Um, yeah, it, it's very annoying. All right, so let's go for um, Super Rod. You got one, two, three. And let's... I don't need to Dark Patch here. I wouldn't mind slowing them down a little bit, if I can. Um... I'm kind of tempted to go for Giovanni's Charisma, but it also does nothing. So let's just go for Tormenting Poison, I guess. And go for just stupid amounts of poison damage. Yeah, I still do lose this though. Iron Hands EX just stomps single prize decks. Absolutely stomps them. So, yeah, not a, not a great showing, unfortunately. Um, like, it's fun. I'm doing 90 damage a turn, or between turns. But them taking two prize cards just, it, it stomps this deck. Because again, like, this is... This is a single price deck. You want to be slowing the game down a bit. And sadly, that's not happening against this. Okay, that's one Eddie. That's not what I needed. Um, how much damage is this? 20 more damage for each banished Pokemon. Two. Sorry, it'll, so it'll deal 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I actually go into this then. To survive. And just pass the turn. Yeah, I got a bit unlucky with my draws. I think I need to get I need to get more draws for this deck. Which is a bit of an issue. I definitely need to get more draws. There's Prof's research. There's the draw I needed ages ago. Um it's just gonna come down to whether they can knock out this Pokemon this turn. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Twelve. Even if they drop something, they get I think I'm fine. What? Did not count properly. What am I missing? Where did I miss the damage from? Oh, uh, I think it's one of the other Pokemon with buffing damage. Whoops. Okay. I thought I was safe. I didn't count properly. Yeah, let's jump into one more of this poison type deck. Just a bit of a break from the mill. Um. Oh, what do I get? Hey, I got the evolved two Pokemon. Use an attack that costs at least three energy. I don't think I have any of those. I have none, none of those. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not happening this game. <laughs> All right, let's jump into one more for poison. Um, I like it. I'll jump back into ranked after this. Uh, head to tails. Let's go heads. Oh, also, tomorrow. I think tomorrow's live stream. I might be playing Hell Divers because I haven't actually played Hell Divers in a while. Um, and with a new automaton push, I want to get some of that going. So I think tomorrow's stream might be Helldivers instead of Pokemon. So usually I will be live streaming. So the usual plan is to live stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but I wasn't able to stream yesterday as I had a Warhammer event. Um, so usually I'll do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's definitely going to be at least one Pokemon. Like, it'll always be one Pokemon day, one of those three days. Um, I might just make it Pokemon Thursday. Alternatively, I might just be a 30-year-old casual and just play Dota. 
it's a long, long time favorite of mine. I've been playing. I played. I remember playing Dota One when I was still in primary school, elementary school, and I'm still sitting there playing the game. So one of those days might be. I might in the future have like a Dota day or an Overwatch day. Um. So yeah, let's see what happens. Um, I'm not in love with this hand at all. I am not in love with this hand. Um, I'm gonna pop a charisma here. Just trying to slow them down a little bit. Oh, not having the basic park one here is a problem. I was just looking through the mucks, it would look really cool. Um, as like alternatives put in this deck. So like they stay poisoned if they evolve. And increase the retreat cost of Pokemon as well. But I feel like people people tend not to like hard retreat much these days. Most of the time it seems to be um, items. Oh cool. This is going to be a short game. Um... That Iron Hands card reminds me of ADP, and it gives me shivers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It it hurts. Um, Iron Hands is a deck that I, I I definitely have a love hate relationship with it, in the sense that I love it because it's something different, and I think it's fun. Um, but I hate it because I run single prize cards, single prize decks. So that I don't love. <laughs> at all. Alright, at least I'm not going to lose the game now. So there's Ekans. Um, I'm going to hold off on Cynthia's because I can see myself losing a Pokemon very soon. Yeah, this deck is playing too slowly at the moment. I need to think about it. Um, I think how to improve it a bit. Because it's definitely playing too slowly. Hmm. No, I don't actually know if I need... The thing is, like, I need Super Rod in this deck because of the Hisuian Pokemon. But I don't think I need so many. I might drop some of these. I need more draw. Because I keep having the issue with this deck where I just don't, I'm not getting the cards out that I need. Like, when I need them. Oh, Manaphy is doing nothing for you, my friend. <laughs> nothing for you. Um, I'm a little curious about the deck they're running. They're like, I don't know why Rotom V is in this deck. I really don't know why Broton V is in this deck. Ooh, sorry. It's like you got a quick search. Like, why are you running Broton V? Bard turn one. If you start. I mean, okay. I'm very curious why you need Broton V in this deck, but whatever. Um, Earthen Vessel. Uh, let's get rid of this. And let's bring those two forward. You know, I might just go for a bite. Just to get this game going. Nom. Cool. Hey, I got a price card. Woohoo! Rarely do I get first blood. So, let's take that. Oh, props research. Thank you. Okay. Let's get a new hand going. Alright. Uh, what does this A-spec do again? I never see anyone using this one. Do 50 more damage to your opponent's EX. Well, mate, you're gonna have a bad time with this game. I'm so sorry. Um, that, that's a dead card. <laughs> that's a 100% a dead card. It would have been better just staying in your hand. There is Charizard. Alright, game starts. Alright, game on. Um, yeah. Game on. This now, now is when the game starts getting difficult. Good spread of energies. That's a really good play. Because my opponent knows that I'm going to be going for their bench. And trying to get their Charizard EX out. So that's a good play. That's that's very clever of him. I like that. I like that a lot. That's good to see. Um, oh, poor Ekans is not long for this world. <laughs> All right, bye bye Ekans. Um, did you really just old rod for a uh, Charmander? Really? All right. All right. Um, <laughs> rare candy. Yeah, I know, right? We just I feel like we just had this conversation. It's, it's wild. I mean, once again, I, I didn't see a Charmeleon. 
I don't know what a Charmeleon is. It's been so long since I've seen one. Um, all right, let's put that there. Let's go for the Prime Catcher. Let's say, hello, Rotom V. Um, let's go Super Rod. Let's go one, two. I think just two. I want to keep one. I want to keep one there for Dark Patch. Let's go Synthia's Ambition. Thank you very much. Oh, I didn't get a basic Pokemon. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. Um, oh, that's that's not what I want to see. That is not what I want to see. They won. That's annoying. I got lots of basic Pokemon. I'm running nine in this deck. I'm running nine basic Pokemon. How did I not get one? Oh, that's bad. That, that's bad. That's really bad. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you just search the energy and you win the game. Yeah, I need some work on this deck. Um, but yeah, this is my poison deck. I will be working on refining it a bit more because I do think it's quite fun. Um, I mean, you know me. You know I love the weird, the wonderful, and the interesting. And just the, the different. I love different. That's why I like... Uh, I have no intent running the Charizard EX as a main deck. Because I don't find it interesting. It's meh. <laughs> it's very meh. Like, I don't I don't appreciate meta chasing. And again, if you're a person who goes online and net decks, power to you. I've got no issue with that. It's just not me. Um, it's not something I enjoy doing on a regular basis. Yes, I won't lie, I've done it. 100% I've done it. Um, hey, new tip. Um, and again, like, if you're... Like, if you're trying to work out a deck, like, copying someone else's deck that's doing really well, I have no issue with that. But I do prefer having fun, trying weird, wonderful decks, and just doing something different. Alright. Um, yeah, let's let's put some clothes on. Let's get our new jacket on. Yeah, buddy. Cool. Nice. Alright, is there a cool hat? Yeah, there's a cool hat. Let's put that on, too. Nice. Let's confuse him. Let's... Let's make him think I'm playing electric. But in reality, I'm just gonna mill them. Alright, let's jump back into standard. Um, let's see what we can do. Alright. Let's see. I need to get this rank up because I really wanna get. I, I really wanna see if I can max out both my battle pass and my rank soon. Um, so I do need to get a lot of games in in the next, like, what, four or five weeks? No. The current rank season is, I think, two weeks. And the battle pass is, I think, four weeks? <laughs> Where just goes to this your comment? <laughs> You're too kind and nice. I obviously um, hate the Charizard players. Sorry. <laughs> well, man, I feel like you're not that sorry with that comment. <laughs> um, I, like, I find it so funny that I, when I stopped playing Pokemon... How many years ago? Charizard was the oppressive force. And I come back to Pokemon. And Charizard is the oppressive force. <laughs> I feel like nothing has changed. Over the last two years. Like. Oh my god. It's it's amazing. Um, <laughs> oh. Anyway. Let's get, let's get this going. Um, Great Tusk, Great Tusk. Let's go. What do I get from Raiding Greninja? Let's see quickly. Uh, drop one of those. Oh, I got a Guidance, which is great, but that doesn't help me this turn. Um, let's go for... Poke Let me hold off on this for now, actually. And Nest Ball, I want to get a Comfey out as well. Just to give me options. And let's go here. Let's go Greninja. Retreat. Comfort. And... Flower selecting. 
I think Crushing Hammer. I like Crushing Hammer. Let's have some fun. I know my opponent played Discard Pile well with this deck, but let's see what I can do. Uh, Range Ghost, but they... What? But they also can't do nothing about it. The developers just enjoy OP Charizard. Yeah, apparently... Yeah, apparently the developers just love Charizard for some reason. Um, I mean, look at it. Look. Joke aside, Charizard is a super popular Pokemon. There's no denying it. It's one of the iconic Pokemon. Um, not for meme reasons, but anyway. Um, it is. It's an iconic Pokemon. Um, but I do truly wish they stopped making such oppressive Pokemon cards around it. Because, my word, we don't need any more. I feel like every time I play this game, it's literally a case of just oppressive Charizard followed by oppressive Charizard. Alright. Um, so, what do I get from concealed cards? Not really what I wanted. Um, so the thing is, right? Crushing hammers don't do a whole lot in this game. But now, do I explore his guidance? into a double. I don't. That's sad. Let's do that. So next one I can get a side off. Compare. Do I get double here? Oh. Ooh. Mimikyu. Mimikyu 100% actually. I don't know why I'm thinking about that. Mimikyu. A crushing Hammer. I know Crushing Hammer is not great against my opponent's deck, but it can slow them down a little bit. And I might just need a little bit. Like, all I need is a little bit. Um, do that there. And let's do that. Let's do that. It's very early for Mimikyu. I know. But, I don't think holding on to it's going to matter this game. And the reason I say that is because they can charge up Lunatone. And they will be charging up Lunatone. So I don't think it matters showing it early in this game. Because this is going to have energies regardless. So I don't think showing that early matters. Okay, I'm glad I dropped it down for Iono. Um, I like how they release very interesting cards here and there. Like the Alexam EX being able to attack from the bench is crazy. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Um, and then I was doing a practice game three days ago, four days ago. And it attacked me from the bench. And I was like, what wild thing is happening? And I could not believe it. And I love that. Like... That's a super cool card. Like, that's interesting. That's what I want to see. Like, why is that more of that not being a thing? Um, let's get this going. So, yeah, like, that's the type of stuff I want to see. That's super cool. All right, Explorer's Guidance, what do I get? Um, let's do those two. Yeah, let's do those two. Oh, I had a pop out of my hand. Ah, oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see how to pop out in hand. Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah, I need to work some Lunaton. Just crushing hammer this. Uh, Mewtwo, and hopefully get this off again. Okay, it's fine. Energy down. Um, I do want to go for a concealed card here. The problem is I'm self-milling quite a bit. And I do need to cool it soon. Because otherwise I'm going to mill myself up, which is a very big problem with this deck. Okay, two Nimonas. Okay, 
Let's see how we go. Um, never underestimate the crushing power of the hammer. They can screw you over if they just attached your energy. Uh, you can't charge your bench Pokemon unless you, uh, you get energy accelerated. Yeah, I love crushing hammer. So I know it's a bit of an awkward card because it does pollute a deck and it's a gamble. I mean, look, if crushing hammer was guaranteed, oh, amazing. I would love it, but it's not. Um, so it is a big gamble. And because of that, it can be quite tough. So, uh, what are we doing here? Um, so yeah, because it's a bit of a gamble, it's always a risk playing Crushing Hammer, but it's something I do love. Like, I love playing Crushing Hammer. It's super, super fun. Um, in fact, this, yeah, this is going to hit like a truck. All right. Um, Lunatone is online. Okay, let's put Comfy out because I'm not sitting in a great spot right now. And I don't really want to explore his guidance this turn. I want to see what's in their hand. Okay. Alright, this thing fully stocked with energies. That's fine. Um, let's go flower selecting. Um, Poke Gear. I could actually use a Poke Gear. So I wouldn't mind getting a. Vitality off next turn. Um, let's put that there. And let's use Otterson. And let's go there. Okay. Kind of happy with this. Not going to do anything else. They can knock on a Comfey. It's alright. I'm fine with that. Um, hey, Mother Spider. Hey, Insti uh, Instinct. Not sure if you remember, but I played some Legacy games with you like two or three years ago. Yeah, I remember, dude. Anyway, Legacy is no longer officially supported by Pete Pokemon Live, um, but there is still a way to play it. How do you play Legacy these days? The way I play it is on a fan-made version of Live called PTCG1. There are tons of old formats to play too. So my question is, would you play that or no? Uh, TCG1. Let me look at it. So... Let, let me look at it. Legacy is not a format I am wild about for the reason of me not f knowing the card base fantastically. But I'll have a look at it. So it teaches you one. All right, let me have a look at it um, and I'll get back to you on that. I don't see it being a huge issue. Yeah, I don't see it being a huge issue, but let me have a look at it first, just to make sure. Uh, and then I can go from there, essentially. Okay, let's get that going. But I I am open to it. Um, but let me just have a look at how it'll work with me doing it on YouTube. <laughs> if you get where I'm coming from. Um, yeah. <laughs> let me leave it at that. Let me just see how that how that'll work. Um, catcher into. I mean, like, I know they have cards, which is annoying, and all their retreat costs are easily done. Let's just try and slow them down a little bit. Um, I don't want to draw anything more right now. I just need to get. Yeah, I literally just need to start now, start just motoring through their deck. Um, I am really happy to hear that there is a place for that. Because it is a bit sad that this only has standard and extend, um, standard and extended. Well, yeah, I mean, like, most people here are going to be playing just standard, which is a bit sad. Um, so I am happy to hear that there is a place. I'm happy to hear that there is a place for that, which is good. Um... Let's go for Vitality. I'm getting a little bit worried about my deck size, though. Let's get that there. Let's get that there. Um, heavy Ball. No surprise. Nothing there. Um, crushing Hammers. Just slow down the Mewtwo for giggles. Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's just go Land Claps. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit concerned that I only have 9 cards left. 
because guidance mills six. <laughs> so that math is a problem. The math is a very big problem. Um, because not only is legacy supported, but there are so many formats on there. Pretty much every world's format except for you. Oh, really? That's cool instinct. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm damn glad to see the community is doing something in that party. Yeah, no, I agree with her, um, Roski. Is there any special formats like the one prize only or theme deck format? They also have a ton of different expand formats too, generally like one expand format per year. So expand between. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, let's look at it. I'll have a look at it. Thank you for bringing that up, bringing that up, Instinct. Let me have a look and just see how that's going to work with the channel. Um, but that sounds really nice. I like the sound of that. All right, let's go Vitality. Uh, put one there. Hmm. Um. I'm I'm running out of stuff. Hey. Good land collapse. Oh, that's the boss is gone, which is really good. Um. I need to be really careful here. So I'm running out of cards. Running out, I'm running out of cards fast. Hmm. So yeah, they're gonna retreat, they'll knock out this great tusk, which is a good thing, so I can super rot it. Um A lot of my recoveries would have been used up. Yeah, I'm two rods down. That's actually good for me. I'd rather you lose that great tusk. Okay. I need to play super slow now. I need to play super, super slow right now. Literally, I'm not playing anything right now. So I need to leave... Oh, I guess I could Vitality this turn, actually. Um... I don't know what to do here. Just gonna go for the basic land collapse. I'm hoping my opponent draws out by mistake. Um, instinct, I don't think so, but you might be able to select unlimited, which is every card ever made. Uh, then only build your deck with the selected rules and play against limited friends. Yeah, that's fair. Free to play, and you don't have to collect cards at all, and there's a ton of deck lists made by the community. And that's really nice that the community is coming together and doing something really cool. That's really nice. Um, when do you plan on streaming again? Um, I'm going to be streaming every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at these times. So tomorrow. Um, oh man, what's the GMT times? 11 till 4 a.m.? Uh, 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. Um, GMT. So Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Okay, let's get that in. Man, I'm in an awkward spot now. So let me go Vitality. No, I need to go for Guidance this turn. Yeah, Guidance this turn. Take a Super Rod. I'll take a Counter Catcher. Done. Then I super rod. And I go one, two, three. Goes back into my deck. Then I counter catcher another soul rock forward. And then I land collapse. 
and they'll put them down to their last draw. As long as they don't have a way to reset their hand, I'm good. If they got an Iono now, I'm in a bit of trouble. That's a bit annoying. Um... I think I'm fine though, right? 780. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> oh, that great tusk just got blasted back into the prehistoric. Um, error. Alright. Then I go... Boros Guidance. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I take at this point. Take those two. I go Super Rod to avoid the bug. Just put those back in. And then I land claps. Put there just in case. And that's game. Oh, this is a really close game. Really, really close game. Um, well played to my opponent. That was a really tough game. Um, yeah, uh, really, really, really good work there. I'm glad I picked that one up. I didn't think I'd have that. I really didn't think I'd have that. Um, I thought my opponent would have won that one. Um, phew, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. Um, instinct... Uh, also, what happened to the Discord server? I think you deleted it. At least I'm not in there anymore and I've never left. I... I haven't deleted it. I'm really bad at Discord. Um, I won't lie to you. Um, it might have? Yeah, I, d I don't think it's active. Yeah, as Roski saying, I don't really think it's active. Um, yeah. Do you want to go first? No. Um, it's still there. I, at the moment, I don't plan on using it. Um, down the line, maybe. Which is why I haven't deleted it. But as of right now, I don't plan on using it on a regular basis. I'm, I'm just really, really bad when it comes to like social media stuff. Uh, it's something I struggle with. Um, and I am, at the moment, I'm still quite pressed for time. Which I know isn't a really good excuse, but at the end of the day, it is a reality of it. Um, oh man, two mulligans. Um, I hope they take draws from that. So, yeah, as of right now, I don't plan on really using the score that much. I'm hoping in a little bit, want to get a bit more settled. I might look into getting Discord a bit more active again. Um, ooh, the Gimme Ghoul deck, this could be a good matchup. But yeah. So long and short of it is, maybe. I know it's not a great answer, but maybe in the future, I'll be able to get that going a bit more. Um, do you want me to send the link for TCG1 or no? I'm not even sure if I can send the link without getting flagged. Um, I mean, look, I can use Google. <laughs> so I'll check it there. You can try and send the link. Um... Let me see quickly. You can try and send the link. I can always try and just like unflag it essentially. And just let, uh, let it go through. So you walk up and send the link. And then... Um, but yeah, I was going to say... I was just going to check on Google. <laughs> um, Explorer's Guidance. Please, can I get a Thank you. Thank you. Double turbo energy. That is amazing. Uh, I'm going to take both of those, actually. Yeah, I'm going to take both of those. Because now what I can do is... I can go there. I can go there. This brings up my other one. I know it helps my opponent in this matchup, but... It's okay. Bring up that one. Um... Super Rod, I'll probably do like next turn because I might lose this great tusk. And turn one, land collapse. So this is going to be a good game. And I go over a switch cart, which is amazing, and a Palkia V, which I'm happy with. But yeah, losing stuff like switch cart is great. So cool. Good start. All right.
Um, Discord's still there, but it's not active, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I can see it's fallen by the wayside a bit. I would assume it fall, would have fallen by the wayside. Um, you can look it up, it's the first link. Yeah, uh, thanks, Roski. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you can use Google. <laughs> I'll check it out there. Uh, I'll have a look at it today. It, I definitely won't be streaming it tomorrow. I can tell you that much. Um, but yeah, I... So the awkward thing in comes in, and I mean, I'll be completely honest with this, is I would like to stay in good favor. Uh, I don't know how to word this without sounding weird. Um, I'm concerned when it comes to showcasing fan-made stuff on YouTube, where I'm in a position that it could lead to ramifications. Because I know the Nintendo lawyers are intense. So that's something I want to be a little bit careful about. And I would rather stay in good standing. So let me have a look at it. Um, and essentially take it from there. So I know that's not exactly the most fun answer, but it is the reality of where I'm sitting at the moment. Is that I've, I, especially now, with me being as small as I can, as I am, I need to be a bit on the safe side, because it's difficult for me to defend myself. And being small, I don't think they would come after me, but it's not something that I want to risk at this point. Let's get that down there. Let's get that there. But again, I'll have a look and I'll see if that's something I can do. Um, because it sounds awesome. <laughs> but let me have a look at it first and essentially take it from there. All right. Um, book stuff gone, that's good. So it keeps my artisan out. Getting rid of Irida is always good. And there's the VMAX, which is decent as well. And Evolution Machine is gone as well. I think they just got that though. Um, not bad. Um, the mill engine's going. I've had two good turns of mill, and I'll be able to get it off again next turn as well. So this is looking good so far. Um, both the Goldengo deck and my Great Tusk deck play quite quickly, and we're going to be going through their deck quite quickly as well. So, yeah, this this looks good. I think this might be a good game. Um, because, yeah, my opponent draws a lot, but I do know that they're able to reset their deck quite a bit as well. So, that is something I do need to be aware of. And just be careful of. Um, I'll look at the VMAX out regardless. I think I'm okay, though. Because, like, the whole thing with Gordengo is that you're drawing a lot with this deck. Um, I know it's relatively easy for them to get knockouts. But I feel like this is an okay matchup. I haven't actually gone into this very often. Um, but I'm feeling relatively confident with this matchup. So let's go Artisan. Oh, not that one. This one. I do want Mimikyu a little bit later, I think. Um, yeah, I do want Mimikyu is my next one I'm putting out. Because this is prize card 4, prize card 3, prize card 2, prize card 1 is the Mimikyu. Do I get Crushing Hammer off? I mean, that would be nice. Meh. It, it's okay. I would have liked it to go off, but not going off is not the end of the world. I would like Asada. Um, and, uh, oh, not switch. Poke gear. Cool. And let's go for Concealed Cards. Drop an energy. And, eh, that's okay. It's not a bad draw. It's, it's alright. Nothing else to do here, so let's go land claps. I have a good land claps game, actually. Like, this has been some pretty, pretty solid mill. What's that? Oh, energy switch. Okay. Not bad. Um, yeah, I, I do think I'm going to try and finish the Mimikyu. As my last um, Pokemon, or their last prize card, essentially. Instinct. 
Yeah, see, that's totally understandable, and that's why I was wondering. Yeah, it's... It's... Look, I love Pokemon. I always have loved Pokemon, but it is a... It's always a concern. It's always a concern moving forward. And, like, I've seen some of the fan-made stuff. It's awesome. Um... But I don't know if I'm in a position to safely showcase it. Um... It is a bit hard to navigate through, in my opinion, and there is a Discord server dedicated to help people with it. Oh, that's really nice. Um, it also doesn't look pretty though, but it definitely functions better than <laughs> better than live. <laughs> um, that's fine. Like the the fact that there is a place. I appreciate that there is a place for people to play the way they want to play, and that's something I do think is important. Um, at the end of the day, this is a community we all love. This is an IP that we all love. And... There being a place to appreciate your hobby is important. Um, it's one of the things, like, I love... And another, like, a branching example from that is, like, I love Board Game Arena. So it's an online site where you can play board games. And... I'm a huge advocate for it. I've um, been a premium member for the last couple of years and I love playing board games there and I've used Board Game Arena to essentially find a bunch of board games to buy in person and whenever you can support your local like your friendly local game store your FLGS's I always encourage it because having those places to play is incredibly important um, I mean, like, you all know I play, um, Warhammer. You need game stores for that. You can play at your friends' places, and I mean, for the most part, I have more games these days at friends' places than I do, sadly, at game stores. Because of various issues with the scene in Korea, which I don't really want to get into. This isn't the place for that. Um... The long and short of it is, it's difficult to play at a game store here. Um, which is very, very sad. Because I grew up playing Warhammer, Pokemon TCG, Magic Gathering. I started all of that back in elementary school, primary school. And I've been doing it for years and years and years. And the main place I played that was my local gaming store. And... Being able to have a place like that, look, I was very lucky to have a local game store, literally a stone store for my school, which was fantastic. Um, and having those places is hugely important. So you've got a place to grow the community. You've got a place to showcase the IP. You've got a place to interact with like-minded individuals. So having, having space for your hobby is something that I think is truly important. Um, so, I am happy to hear there is a place where people can enjoy their hobby. I do wish it was better supported by the parent company. But I am glad that it is available at the end of the day. Because um, I do think that is important. And it is... I mean, it's vital for keeping the, keeping the hobby alive. Um, because at the end of the day, like, we need new players. The old guard, the old guard only lasts for so long. Um, like, there will come a point where <laughs> the younger generation need to come in and get some games in and take over from us. Because we can't play forever. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I was, I was hoping they wouldn't have bosses orders in their hand, but they do. Um, they've used one bosses, they must have at least another bosses ready. Um... Let's go for Mimikyu again. I'm going to try and get a counter catcher open. Um, I didn't get a counter capture. That's annoying. Um, let's just go for those two. Can I need stall out Mimikyu? Otherwise, they get the game. Because they would get a good number of knockouts this game. I'm actually, you know what, I don't think I'm actually helping myself here. Do I even have a counter catcher in my deck? I'm 
got two left. Um, I mean, they're there. I just need to get them. Um, Raiding Ninja. Come, buddy. Not what I needed. I really needed a catcher here. Let's pass the turn. I think they have a boss's orders in hand. Um, yeah. I think they have a boss's orders in hand. Yeah, there you go. That's game. Ah, well played to my opponent. That's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Man, I'm not having a great day. Started off good, and it's just tanked from there. Five for four. Ugh. Well played to my opponent, though. That was a good game. Uh, I thought I'd be better off. I had a really good start. Um, but yeah, they were able to consistently get those um, knockouts, which got me at the end. Um, that's the instinct. It also doesn't look that pretty. Uh, Rusky, do you know Tabletop Simulator? I do know Tabletop Simulator. Um, I use it for quite a bit during COVID to play Warhammer. I haven't, uh, and I played D&D &D on it as well. Yeah, I played D&D &D on uh, TTS as well. Uh, and I did like it. Um, it's a nice, it's a really nice place to play Warhammer. Um, especially with mates who don't live nearby. Or as a way to test new lists. And I do kind of want to try out... Oh man, what's that board game? I've started playing it recently. Con Galaxy Conquest? Cosmic... Cosmic Encounters. Um, the board game group I'm a part of here. Uh, has it. I've been playing that in person quite a lot, and I was a bit sad to see it not on PGA, but I see it on TTS, which I think I want to give it a try, because um, yeah, it's super fun. So yeah, no, TTS is really really nice, um, and it's it, it's a nice format to be able to get stuff out. But yeah, for Warhammer, it's great. Um, I prefer. So the issue I have with TTS is that it's a bit clunky. Um, and a lot of the people I play board games with aren't big on PC games. Or well, aren't big with, like, difficult PC games, if you get where I'm trying to come from. So, navigating TTS has been a bit difficult, in that sense. Um, I should say this for double energy. Um, ooh, I'm a little worried here. I might... Ooh, I was actually kind of hoping I would have got one there. Um... Not a great start. Um, so yeah, in terms of board games, I prefer playing board games on BGA. Just because it looks good, and it's very easy to play on that system. But yes, TTS is a awesome, awesome place. Um, yeah, it's an awesome service. Um, hey, Jordan, welcome, my friend. I'm glad you made it. I'm really glad you actually made it this time. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Warhammer, I agree. Uh, and then Roski, I used to test it. What? I used it to test my own card game with friends during COVID since that was when we were bored. Um, we got on there to play some chess. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, no, it's. Oh, <laughs> what is this game? Um, <laughs> um, uh, that's, oh, I feel like that shouldn't count. That's annoying. Um. Yeah, no, TTS is a great service. It's definitely a place I would recommend trying out. And I need to oil this chair. Like, what is this noise? Um, I can buy some Q20 off this. Um, wait, what did you use to play board games with again? Oh, um, Board Game Arena, BGA. Um, I'll, send you, I'll send you a link in a second. But again, Google, it's the first thing that comes up. Um, so BJ is really nice. I've used, I've actually showcased a bit on the channel as well. Um, I'm, I do plan on getting back, like, showcasing some board games on a stream. I might have a day where I just play board games, quite frankly. You know, that actually sounds quite nice. Maybe I'll just do that next week. Like, have a, have a day where we just play board games. Like, load up BJ, load up some tables, come play board games. I actually like the sound of that. Maybe that needs to happen next week. Maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. No, maybe Wednesday. So do like board games Wednesday, Pokemon Thursday, Helldivers Friday. You know, that actually sounds really nice. I think next week Wednesday needs to be a 
um, oh, this is an awful opening hand. It needs to be a board games day. So yeah, BJ Board Game Arena is really, really fun. So the service is free for 80% of the games. Uh, you can play for free. Um, if you buy into the premium membership, you get um, access to all of the games. And then you also get, I think it's short like queue times or something. I won't lie to you, I haven't been a free member in a good number of years. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it's a really, really nice service. This is a deck I've not gone up against. Cleaver. Discard an energy from this Pokemon. If you do discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, that's fun. All right, let's go heavy board and see what I get. Okay, nothing's there. Fantastic. Um, I'm down, down a lot of resources. I'm not getting Crushing Hammer off this game, apparently. I'm down a lot of resources, actually. Let's go Greninja. Let's go Concealed Cards. Um, not great. Not great. Let's get the Comfey down. Um, I don't need an Artisan right now. Because I do actually receive less damage, which is a good thing. And let's just... Let's pass the turn for now. And let's kind of see what happens next turn. And go from there. Um, Jordan, I have to leave for work. Uh, soon, but glad I could make it. Uh, sorry. Rusky, there you go. I'm trying to show you a message. Why can't I show it? There you go. Um, I have to leave for work soon, but glad I could make it. Hey, I'm glad you could make it, man. Uh, it's been a while. So, this will be regular Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So, we'll get this going. Yeah, I'll get this going on a regular basis now. Um, I was saying earlier, I just didn't play yesterday because I had a Warhammer event. Alright. Uh, Rampage Tile, let's take this 6 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. Meh. Let's take this also 6 damage to one of your opponent's banished Pokemon V. Oh, that's fine. And 120 is below my Great Tusk threshold, so that's only a good thing for me. Um, let's go Concealed Cards. Because I need to start getting my game going, and this is not the way to get it going. Um, do I have a switch in my hand? I don't have a switch in hand either. Hmm. You know, not a great start. Not a great start at all. Um. That's annoying. Okay, just pass the turn. Um. Do they have Monopoly on BGA? My friend, I won't lie to you, I have not the faintest idea. I have not played Monopoly in a while. If it's on TTS, yes. Um, BJ, I have no idea. Um, that was my turn. Okay, let me play my turn, then I'll look. Um, this is annoying. I'm not getting supporters. I'm running an abundance of them, and I'm just not getting them. Um... Yeah, it was very boring passing the turn. Um, okay, just stop playing. Do you have Monopoly? Monopoly, Monopoly. I don't think they have Monopoly. No, it doesn't look like they have Monopoly, unfortunately. Let's look at my account quickly. Uh, BGA. It's my turn. Nope, okay. The whole of 10 damage. Lads, I don't know how I'm going to live through this. Where are my supporters? Where are my energies? What is this? Like, what is happening? I'm just bricking. Uh, Bog Arena. Let's see. Uh, Monopoly. I don't think they have... No, there's no Monopoly, unfortunately. No, there's no Monopoly. Sorry, bud. Sorry, Instinct. Um, yeah. Thank you, okay. Um, concealed cards. Can I draw a supporter? Where are my supporters? Like, I can start milling, which is something, I guess. But like, what is happening? Oh, I know. Whew, I'm happy getting rid of that. Actually, at the same time, maybe getting a new hand would not be a bad thing. Um, my Discord, yeah, I'm good, I can work. Um, what was I gonna say now? 
I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, um, thank you, Pokegear. Can I hit? Thank you, a supporter. My word. What an awful start. Alright, taking Vitality because at this point... Um... Good crushing hammers to troll my opponent because it looks like they're having not the best game and they want to get this uh, retreated soon. So if I can keep this here longer, that'll be only a good thing. Yeah. Stay a while and listen. Or do I go on the back and hit this boy? Let's hit this boy instead in case I switch. Alright. Um, and. What else should I do here? Get double energy down. Let's get this great task down so I can go vitality next turn. And yeah, let the land collapse begin. Cool. I've never actually seen anyone use this EX. <sighs> Meh. I mean, Bedrock Break is not bad, but eh. Eh. It's alright, I guess. Didn't take no worries, that was just the first board game that came to mind. <laughs> Yeah, it's really weird they don't have it. They do have Ticket to Ride, though. Uh, if you enjoy Monopoly, you might enjoy Ticket to Ride. Um, I wouldn't say they're similar games, but they don't... Well, look, they don't play in a similar manner, but they have a similar feel. Um, yeah. They have a similar feel. If you enjoy one, you'll probably enjoy the other one. Um, and again, that is on there, and it is... Ooh. Last time I checked, it was free to play. Um, as I said, it's been a while since I was a free member. So I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's a cool judge. I think I've seen this card out before. I like it, that's cool. And they're running Sandy Shocks. Interesting. This is a nice deck for my opponent, something different, which I appreciate. Shame, they are having a bad one though. Um, like, in terms of draws. Um, shame, yeah. It's, it's never fun when you got a, like, you're testing out a new deck and you just brick. Um, it's really sad. Because, <laughs> like, you're trying your best to make it work and it's just saying no. Like, up yours, no. Um, turn. thanks Rocky, grade one teacher, so <laughs> I need all, I need all the luck I can get. My friend, I'm there with you, Jordan. I'm a kindergarten teacher. I teach, well, I teach a weird spread. I'm kindergarten... I teach Kindergarten, I teach Grade 1, and I teach Grade 6. It's a weird spread, but I'm primarily Kindergarten. Um, yeah, it's a weird spread, I know. Um, so, yeah, I, I sympathize with you completely. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. Teaching is fun, I love it, but yeah. You have those days um, where you need the stars to align. Land collapse. Um, what is your favorite Pokemon card of all time? It can be from 996 or 2024 or anywhere in between. Favorite card? Um. Ooh. I'm trying to think now. Favorite card of all time. It's probably gonna be. So this is a bit of a weird one, but it's probably gonna be. The. Oh man, I don't remember what a text has, but it was the old Mewtwo. That you got, from seeing the movie. Um, and the reason for that is because that was the first card I ever owned. That was the start of my collection. Um, yeah, it was like a, oh, it was like 70 or 90 HP, super weak. It had barrier and something else. And it was the first Pokemon card I ever owned. Um, uh, so I just want to look here what I want to... We want to go with this. Um, I 
let's go for... Not that. Actually, 40 damage is not bad. Let's go for that. Um... No, let's do this. Let's force them to spread their energies, but... Um... Yeah, so it's gotta be that. What's yours? I'm curious to hear what everyone's favorite, favorite Pokemon cards are, because that's actually a tough question. Like, you gotta make me think there. Um... But yeah, I think I'd have to go with that. Um... And again, it's, it's literally just because this was my first ever card. What was that old Mewtwo? I think it was like, it was like gold filigree or gold writing was... If, uh, was like to showcase it was the one you got from the movie. Um, man, that was a while ago. That was a good while ago. Yeah, it's gotta be that one. Um... Uh, Jordan, oof, grade 6 is rough. Yeah, dude, I won't lie to you. Grade, my grade 6 class are... <laughs> so, they're different challenges. It, it, like, it's a weird description. Like, managing managing kindergarten, having them, you know, function and not try and eat their snot the whole day. Like, that's a, a challenge in its own right. Um, and it's draining... Because, like, you need a lot of energy for them to have a lot of energy. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you know. Um, but then at the same time, my middle school kids I'm constantly fighting with because it's like, I know how much potential you guys have, and you are awesome, but stop being so damn lazy. <laughs> so it's definitely a different struggle with the different grades. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nice to have another teacher on board. It is... You are, you are doing work, my friend. <laughs> you are doing work. <laughs> um, awesome, uh, instinct, I also enjoy teaching. I make YouTube videos on 3D software. Hey, awesome, another teacher. Nice, Instinct. Um, that's really cool. What 3D software do you showcase? Because uh, that's something I really do want to get back into myself. Because I have, and to my, my wife's absolute disdain, I really want to get into 3D printing. But I want to get into... 3D modeling first? Well, not first, but I want to get into 3D modeling because I want to model and print my own stuff in resin. Because like, I really want to do... Uh, I'm a huge D&D fan. And I really want to do, like... Um, like, Pokemon D&D, essentially. So I want to sculpt my... my Like, I want to sculpt Pokemon in D&D outfits and such. And I want to have those as my characters in my D&D sessions. Um... And I also, again, I'm a huge Warhammer fan, so there's a, a lot of stuff I want to do for that. Because um, I want to print a bunch of extras, and I'll, I've got some really cool designs for some armies. But, yeah, I need to be able to do it. <laughs> um, oh, my word, I don't want to do with this hand, actually. Um, I might just slow mill my opponent at this point. Because, like, they they got six prize cards to go. Like, just milling one card a turn is enough. Um, so that's really cool, Instinct. I'm curious what 3D modeling stuff you do, 3D software you do. Because that's something I definitely do want to get into. Because, um, yeah, I, I really want to start modeling some stuff. Because I've got great, great ideas for armies. But I suck. <laughs> I'm not good. Like, what did I try and make recently? I try to get a... Uh, I was actually quite happy with them in the end. Uh, I, I was able to make a spider mount for one of my... I, I really want to make e um, Exodite, Exodite Eldar, but go the spider route instead. Uh, instead, instead of the dinosaur route. Because um, I love the spider riders from just Lord of the Rings mythos, and the spider riders from old school fantasy for Warhammer. So I want to make like a spider themed... X dot Eldar army. So they'll be more drow esque, like drow inspired, than so they'll look kind of dark eldery. Um, so a bit more like drow inspired for the elves, and then it's actually gonna be very much drow army essentially. 
uh, with like spider riders and stuff. So anyway, long story short, I modeled a really cool like huntsman spider, which I was actually happy with in the end. It like it came out a lot better than I was expecting it to come out. Um, but then I went to rigging it because I wanted to rig the legs so I could have a bunch of different styles to print essentially. Um, and yeah, <laughs> it wasn't great. I won't lie to you, it wasn't great. Um, I struggled with the rigging. Um, and yeah, I don't think, I haven't touched that in a while. Cause I got distracted with other stuff and then like changing jobs and stuff. It didn't look like the printing was gonna happen anytime soon. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah, side job. Sad hobby. I've got too many hobbies, apparently. Um, oh, that's game. Yay. Cool deck for my opponent. I'm a bit sad that they weren't able to get it going because I wanted to see what those cards did. Um, so I'm a bit sad there that my opponent wasn't able to really get get their engine going because I love seeing different decks. Um, that's a bit sad. I would have liked to have seen more of their deck, unfortunately. Man, I went down a rabbit hole there from one comment. <laughs> Thank you, Instinct. Um... Hey, level 10. Nice. Hey, got some more coins. Cool. Alright, let's keep going. Um, I have a card. Yeah, it has a gold stamp. That's right. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Um, yeah, that's where I started. So I had that one. So I had... I want to say I had that one. I had the Dragonite one with the little, like, bag that it was carrying. And I had the Pikachu. I feel like it was a Pikachu one as well. That's like living rent free all the way back there. So I know there was the Mewtwo, I know there was the Dragonite, and I want to say I had the Pikachu one. I wasn't able to get the rest of them. Um, Instinct. My favorite card is probably the tr uh, Tropical Beach. It's the World 2011 and World 2012 promo card, and it's extremely powerful in Legacy. Only a thousand exists, so it took me, it took my years of trading to get them. That's super cool, dude. That's really cool that you're able to get it, like physically get a, a copy of it. So that's super cool. I actually don't know it. I'm just gonna look at it and see what it looks like. Team Roski, all right guys, I gotta go to bed since I'm in Europa and it's 3 a.m. Oh, my buddy, thank you so much for coming through. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad you made the um, stream Roski and thanks for being active in the chat as well. It is super fun to be able to sit back, relax and chat. So thank you so much for coming through. This will be a regular thing. Sorry, I know the timing is not great for Europe. Um, so I definitely do appreciate you coming through. Thanks, bud. And your favorite Valkyrie is GX, but my favorite perk one is Gengar by far. My man, good, good taste. You got some good taste right there. Um, Instinct, they're usually... What? They... Oh, so let me play this quickly. Oh, upon a turn. Uh, they are usually around 1,000 packs. I got mine for around 200. Oh, nice! It was because people didn't think that they would transfer to live, so prices dropped. Ooh. That was nice for you, my friend. Hey, that works out very nicely for you. Um, let's get that there. I'm going to hold off my hammer until um, they evolve. It's a Sada, not... Hello? Why can't I take this? What's happening? Can I have my card, please? Why can't I take my card? That is annoying. My mouse is working fine. No, I would like my card, please. I can't move it, I can't select it. That's annoying. Okay, well, cool. No supporter, I guess. Uh, let's try again. That's annoying. Um, that's very annoying, because I could have used that. Next turn. Um, anyway. Um, yeah, those cards, that's crazy. Yeah, that's really lucky that you got them. Oh, you had them, oh, I thought you had them in person. You had them on, on online. That's really cool, bud. Then you traded them to your friend because I quit playing. Ah, I see. Yeah, the 2011 and 2012 ones, that's super cool, bud. Um, Instinct, yeah, it was bad for my health because I was playing it too much, so I traded them to him. So that it would force me to stop playing. <laughs> nice, dude. So you're teaching Cinema 4D. Oh, nice. But going forward, I'm going to teach Blender. Nice. 
Yeah, so Blender was the one I was using. Um, and I got into it, into it following Blender Guru, actually. Um, with them donuts. So yeah, that's really cool, dude. Um, yeah, Blender's, Blender's nice because it's... I, I use it because it's easy to get into. It's free, it's easy access. Um, so yeah, that's super cool. Cinema 4D I haven't used, though. Um, used to teach Cinema 4D more or less. Ah, okay. Yeah, modeling is tough. I've never got into sculpting. Yeah, sculpting... Sculpting is new to me. I'm more familiar with the modeling because I used to do a bit of um, 3D modeling for my family a while back. For, like, designing furniture and stuff. So I'm a bit more familiar on that side than the sculpting. The sculpting is a new thing which is taking me some time. Um... Yeah, getting there. To be honest, those are my favorites. And yeah, good on you for holding back on the hobby because we all tend to get absorbent. Yeah, knowing knowing when to stand back a bit is important. Um, well, that's not what I want. Crush camera, I want to get rid of that dark energy there. Cool. And let's pop that. Because that's what I'm worried about. And what if I even super rod? Oh, the great tusk. I don't need super rod just yet. Yeah, knowing when, knowing when to take a step back is super important. Um, that's actually why I stopped playing Magic Gathering. Um, because I was playing that every, I mean, I was playing every FNM I could, and I was playing pretty much every single Saturday I could as well from Game Store. Um, and when when I met my wife. Jeez, when was that? Almost a decade ago now. Um, was when I actually stopped playing. Because, like, not priorities is not what I want to say. Like, it wasn't in a bad way. Um, oh, thank you, I know. But I wasn't able to find a nice balance. And magic was taking an unhealthy amount of time. Um, so yeah, good on you for being able to identify what was not, not healthy for you and making a good change. Cause yeah, sometimes, a lot of times the, the right choice is not the easy one. And I know it's a cliche saying that, but when you're in those situations, like you know what the right choice is and it's not always the one you want to make. So being able to take that step back and be like, Hey, this is what I should be doing. That's a really good thing. Um, being able to do that takes a lot. So, good on you, mate. Really, good on you. Um, mess ball. Can I get a Greninja going at this point, I think? Cool. And let's just pass it. So, yeah, so this game started a bit of a, as a bit of a stall, but it does happen, unfortunately. Um, Rusky, thank you for your stream, mate. I'm glad to be here, of course. Yeah, I really appreciate it. It's nice. It's really nice having you on board again, and like that's the reason I want to do the stream is to be able to chat with people. Um, yeah, well, I've been good for two hours already. Nice. Um, yeah, it's it's been really nice. It's the chat has basically been active the entire time, so having people going forward is awesome. Like I really appreciate this. And instinct. No, I never got a physical copy. I got the digital versions of them. Also, stream is extremely delayed. Law. Really? Why is it so delayed? Um, I don't think it was that. Shouldn't be that delayed. I don't know if I can change it right now. I thought I said that there was no delay. Okay, I don't know if I can change it now. Um, moving forward, I will. The intent was for it not to be this delayed. Um. Yeah, the intent was to not be this delayed. Okay. Um, let's go concealed cards. It's not that delayed, is it? I'm, I'm checking my phone. It's about... It's a few seconds. Yeah, it's like 20 seconds. It's not that delayed. Crushing hammer. I'll double check my settings. I think it's it's under a minute. I'm about 90% sure it's under a minute. Um, but I'll, I'll double check for you. I'll definitely double check for you. 
Uh, I'll check my stream settings off this game, or after this stream, sorry. But it should be under a minute. So like, I just passed the turn now. So it's what, like one? It's, it's about 30 seconds. No, less. Yeah, it, it should be less. It should be less. Um, yeah, no, it's not that long. Alright, let's go conceal cards. Okay, there's a hammer again. I've gotten really lucky with the hammers. I've gotten really lucky with the hammers. Um, which I definitely appreciate. And I'm just gonna pass the turn. The thing is, at the moment, I don't really need to be doing anything because I'm sitting in a really, really good spot. And I'm forcing my opponent to just sit here. So I know it's not the most exciting. I do apologize. I'm basically playing Snorlax at this point. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. All right. Um, uh, let me go for one more concealed cards. I don't want to mill too much with concealed cards. Good misfortune, sisters. Get rid of that. I've still got an energy in their hand, unfortunately. Okay. Not a great misfortune, sisters, but that's fine. Um. Yeah, this is past turn. Cool. Um. Instinct, yep, that glitch has happened to me before. It's so broken, it's funny that online has one has more functionality. Yeah, it's a really weird glitch. This is the first time I've actually encountered it. Um, I've never had that one before. I've had the milling one before, which was annoying. Um, I was the Gengar EX one. This is frustrating, but it's not that bad because I run Fatality. Uh, I've definitely had the milling one a few times. I've been caught, I've been caught off guard by that. And that was very annoying. Um, very, very annoying. Um... Again, I think I just kind of want to pass the turn. Because I don't, I don't want to use... Actually, no, let me use this a Vitality here quickly. Just because I want to make sure these two tusks are good to go. Yeah, this is fine. And now I'll get a Comfey forward, so I can get some draw potential going. Um, yeah, we can just sit here. Let's pass the turn again. Um... Yeah, that was a weird glitch, not being able to take my supporter card. That's the first time I've seen that. Um, I hopefully don't see it again. So let's see what happens. Okay. Oh no, there's still three hours left for the stream. Hmm. I might do short, slightly shorter. Um. Yeah. Oh, Instinct, uh, maybe it just took you a while to read the comments. Oh, it's taking me a while to read the comments, mate. Because <laughs> I get distracted very easily. Um, I get distracted very easily. <laughs> uh, I sometimes have the attention span of a fly. Um, an extra spot. Metro card. Uh, Charizard, come back. Come back, my friend. Cool, let's pass. Yeah, the thing is, I know it's really boring playing stall, but at the moment I didn't need to do anything. But yes, sorry, I'm very slow at reading comments, um, because I'll see a comment and talk about it, and then get distracted for the next five minutes, and then not see the comments and talk back to them five minutes later. So, sorry. Um, instinct, I said that glitch when it happened, and it happened a while ago. Is my message that delayed? No, they're not delayed, mate. Like, they're coming through. Um, but... Yeah, I get distracted. Sorry. <laughs> um, I don't think they're delayed. Um, I don't think they're delayed. They shouldn't be delayed. Um, next time one of your messages comes through, I'll shout it out and we'll see where we are. I'll try and keep a better track of the messages. So I'm busy looking at my phone at the moment because I still haven't bought a second monitor yet. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, all good. I said it as it came through. Alright, um... Cool. 
Let's go past the turn. Wait, what? Did I get poisoned? How did I get poisoned? Oh, rude. You poisoned me. That's not fun. Um, I can get around that. I can get around that. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go switch, bring Kamfei. Oh, but that doesn't really solve me. It's just going to buy me a turn. I'm burning a lot of resources for that. Um, mm. um, what I need is I need my stadium. That doesn't help though, it's any stadium. Never mind. Um, I think I'll just wait this out. Just ride this out as long as I can. And just take it from there. Yeah, I'll just ride this out for as long as I need to. And then I can super rod Mimikyu back. Mimikyu goes down. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's the thing, like, I'm in no rush. Because the longer, like, this just carries on like this, the better it is for me. So, their turn... Um, when it comes back to me, it'll go 50. Go back to them, it'll be 60. Go back to me, it'll be 70. So... Mm, it'll it'll die on it coming to my turn. So then I can move in Great Tusk and it'll not be an issue. Okay, that's fine. Um, this is a weird, like, combo deck running the Clod Sire and the Gengar. It's really weird. Um, interesting, but weird. Yeah, pass the turn. Again, I don't need to do anything at the moment. Because they're going to come back to me now. They've got dead hands. They're top decking. Um, yeah, like, they're in top deck mode. If they go for a big draw, it only benefits me. Um, and as soon as Mimikyu goes down now, I bring in Great Tusk. Super Rod Mimikyu back. And I can just repeat the process. Okay, yeah, let's get this going. So, we go Super Rod. One, two... Leave the energy there so I can use a vitality. We go vitality. We put an energy over here. Uh, yeah, let's put it over. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, I'll put it there. Those go there. Uh, I'll put it in hand. I'd rather go for my stadium. Thank you very much. And I bring Mimikyu back. Cool. Alright, annoying my opponent some more. And... How many trainers are here now? I've got two Sardas, so I can go for a Pell Pad. I can... Oh, not that one. Bring those two in. Put that there. And I can go Land Collapse. Cool. And then we can continue from there. And then, if need be, I can bring in the Mimikyu. Um, I might... I might Vitality this next one. So I might bring a Great Tusk and Vitality it. Um, oh, I don't need to, actually. They didn't get the, the energies. How many energies are oh, they down? Oh, I can't. Uh, I've got to do it this way. Okay, Concealed Cards. I lose the energy. Get those back. Vitality. Get that. Over there. Thought I had another energy there. Um... This all looks good. I don't need to go for Pell Pad right now. And let's go for an Collapse. Cool. I'm pretty sure I've got this game. That Mimikyu just sitting there tanking for how many turns was that? Got me the game. Um, I feel like I missed a message somewhere. Oh, there. Uh, interesting. The classic donut tutorial. Andrew Price is the god. He really is. Sorry, I missed that message instinct. Um, so the delay is about 20 seconds. All right. Um, but yeah, that donut tutorial is the way to go. Um, it's how I got into Blender. And I'm sure it's the way many, many other people got into Blender. So yeah, 100%. He is amazing. And he is doing awesome, awesome work for just humanity as a whole. Uh, instinct. All right, I'm going to get off. Uh, we'll tune back in another day. Hopefully we can get some legacy games going. Yeah, but that'll be really, really cool. Um, I'll take a look and I'll see and take it from there, essentially. 
But thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it and keeping the chat really, really awesome. Thanks, bud. Um, I'm going to jump into one more game. I think I need to get a snack afterwards. I'm hungry. I need to have something to eat. Using too much uh, energy. I haven't done a five hour gaming session in ages. My word, I'm getting old. <laughs> um, all right, Miss Devon. <laughs> like your name. Um, all right, let's see. Tails. And Tails, yay, I get to choose. Uh, do I want to go first? No, thank you. Okay. What are we playing with today? Not the opening hand I would have liked. At all. Um, if I can guidance into a switch, that'll be nice. Hmm. Yeah, my opponent has a bad start as well. That's fine. Um. Cause I've. Uh. Okay, this game got bad, really quickly. I do not like Pokemon League headquarters. Okay, never mind. Game is not pretty. Game is not pretty. Ah, oh, this is an annoying card. I really don't like it. Um. <laughs> La chunk. I have not seen a Latronk in ages. Um, yeah, I'm a bit sad that Pokemon Violet and uh, Scarlet and Violet wasn't as good as it could have been. Because, I mean, like, it was... <sighs> yeah. It was interesting. Um, I got the Switch. And I think I want to take maybe a heavy ball just to be sure my discard pile is good. I don't think I need the rest. I don't think I need the rest. Alright, let's go heavy ball, see what I get. I'm going to use heavy ball. Ooh. I'd rather take that because I know it's a one off in my deck. Get you down. Let's get you down. Let's get you down. Um, the issue is I'm still seeing with that irritation. Concealed cards. I need to draw into my stadium. Okay. I can just go there for now. Um, yeah, I just passed the turn. I should switch into this Great Tusk. Yeah, it's past turn. Yeah, that's annoying. The stadium. I really hate Pokemon headquarters. Uh, it just shuts down Great Tusk really badly. Um, it just requires one more energy, which is annoying. Ah, oh, don't tell me you're running crushing hammers. Oh, that's frustrating. Crushing hammers and headquarters together is a very annoying combo. Ugh. This is going to be an annoying game. I can just see it already. I was going to say, this feels like a Gengar deck. Hmm? Wink alone. Manning sent. This deck does 30 more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Flip a coin. If Tails during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Okay. Interesting, I guess. Um. Man, why are you going to get rid of my energy? This is annoying. Okay, they're conceded. I'm okay with that. This was going to be an annoying game. That was going to be a terrible game. Um, I'm very curious what the deck was, but that was going to be a very annoying game. Alright. Let's keep going. Hey, rank up. I'm on rank. Let's go. I've got a long way to go, though. And, like, as you can see, I mean, 8 to 5 is not bad, but it's not what I need. <laughs> I need, like, 16 to 5. Alright, let's see what my opponent has. Flip a coin, let's go for heads. Oh, man, I wanted to go get a snack. Oh, snacky. But I had a very small breakfast, which was a poor choice. 
in life. Do you want to go first? No, thank you. It was a very poor choice in life. Okay, what is my opponent going for? Oh, if I can draw into a supporter, I am so happy. Just give me a supporter. Give me an explorer. That's what I want. I want an explorer or I want a misfortune. No, I don't want misfortune. I want explorer. Give me an explorer. Yeah, man. Give me explorer. Ooh, this could... Uh, Guaratina draws a lot, though. This could be a good game. Uh, they're going to be doing lots of drawing. I think... I think this is a good matchup for me. I think this is a good matchup. Because... Because of the amount that they draw. It's Poke Gear. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me Explorer. No, the one I didn't want. Ah, oh, I can't use that. Okay. Crushing Hammer. Hits. Hey. I've got to put like a touching hammers, touch wood. All right. Um, and let's go. Start land collapsing. Okay. Uh, I'm happy getting rid of an experiment. That's a good card. Okay. Hopefully that slows him down a little bit. Um... I'm worried I didn't get an Explorer because I don't have a bench Pokemon. And I wanted an Explorer to get something else out. So I'm really worried about that. I'm really, really worried about that. I think I'm fine because I don't see them attacking this turn. Or well, they can't now. Um, so I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. But, that being said, I don't have a great setup right now. I just need to get an Explorer. If I can draw into Explorer on this turn, I'm good. Come on. Or a Greninja would work too. Alright, Poke Gear. Come on, give me an Explorer. <sighs> Come on, not Vitality, man. <sighs> Why'd I do that? Okay, Super Rod down for my opponent, which is a good thing. I think I've lost this now. Oh, that's really annoying. Not drawing another basic Pokemon is really frustrating. And I'm running a good, what, six? I have to get one this turn, otherwise I lose. Come on. Okay, that's, that's something. Um. Mimikyu is something. Yeah. I was tempted to... Oh! I didn't attack! Um, I was tempted to actually put Mimikyu in there. Looks like my opponent is struggling a little bit. And why didn't I attack? Uh, looks like my opponent is struggling a little bit. Um... But I know once the deck gets set up, it's going to be very difficult to deal with. There's a counter catcher, which is good for later. Um, I'm still not having great draws. Um, gets Poke here, that's good. There's one less thing, one less option for them, which is good. They're down to 27 already, mind you. How many lost zone cards are there? They're getting two more in here in a second. They've got four so far. Well, they've got Greninja in the lost zone, that's sad. They're sitting on six. So they're almost there. They need one more. Two of them in chance, two of them to last turn. Yeah, so after this turn, they're online. Yeah, I just, I need to get super lucky here and draw something. I, I need an explorer. Yeah. Yeah, they come. Yeah, they come. I'm trying to think if this deck runs another attacker, though. 
I think Mimikyu can just sit here. A uh, Cromorant. Of course it's Cromorant. Oh, that card's annoying. Can't stop Cromorant. Can I counter catch her? I can't count counter catch her right now, can I? No. Um The thing is I need a giant tusk. A cromorant. So Do I just retreat here? No, I don't retreat here. No, I don't retreat here. The issue is that Cromorant in the back. I should have actually vitalitied. I should have gone for the treat, so I'm gonna vitality off. Cause I'm sitting with a big problem now where I don't have draw. Yeah. No, I'll go into Cromorant. Hmm. Good play. So, this does open me up to get a knockout on this Cromorant and force them to rot it back essentially. Because I can rob my Mimikyu back very easily. The issue is here. I don't know what to do. I really, I don't know what to do. I just needed another basic Pokemon. I just haven't gotten it. I'm gonna catch her into Comfy. And hope for the best and just hope for an energy. Rather than go for knockout. Because if I go for knockout, that is bringing Giratina and I lose the game. So I need to just hope I get. Hope I get something. Mmm, this has been a very annoying game. Very, very annoying game. If they have an energy, they win. Yeah. Yeah, that was annoying. This was a rubbish showing. Okay. Let me go get something to eat quickly. Oh, snack. I'll be back in like two seconds. Um, cool. Check back here in a second.
All right, I'm back. All right. Um, cool. Let's jump back into it. Yeah, you know that sad moment when you go to go and find snacks and you don't have any snacks because you're trying to be healthy and you threw your snacks out? Yeah, I had that. So thankfully I found a packet of chips, which is not really what I felt like, but it will. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I really should have, had a, should have had a bigger breakfast. Let's see. Details, I want like heads, please. Cool, I get to choose. I'm gonna be going second, thank you very much. Do you wanna go first? No, thank you. Let's go second. Second is always what you want with the deck. With great test mill deck. What are with my opening hands recently? They're terrible. The game hates me. Is my opponent here? Hello. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's see. What do I get? Two mulligans. What is happening today? You're really unlucky. Not a mimic you first. Oh, I don't want that. I really don't want that. Okay, well, let's see what my opponent gets. Oops. My chips have been flying. No! Mmm. I've lost this. So this is a. Uh, this is Iron Hands. So this is a last matchup. Yeah. Um, this is going to be really tough. Turns out Mimikyu is a good start. This Maraid on there is going to come in and knock it out. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see what I can do. Um, there's at least a great task, so I'm not going to lose in the game instantly, which is always nice. I'll miss Fortune Sisters because I'm not going to do another turn. Got really tracking shoes, which is nice. They're just sitting with three energies in their hand. Oh, sorry, not three energies in their hand. No, three energies, which is no surprise there. But at least there's two things gone. Just getting rid of Super Rod is always a good thing. Uh, crushing Hammer, I don't want to do just yet. It's going to do 40, 60. 80, so it's a straight knockout. Um, so saving the energy for that right on actually doesn't do anything. So I'd rather try and slow down the Iron Hands as much as I possibly can. I fail, that's okay. Um, let's put that there. And I'm not gonna poke here in case they've got a hand reset, like an Iono or something. Cool, let's pass the turn. And see what I can do. See if you got Lucky or safe Safeguard. The Marida on the back is a big problem though. No, that's how my opponent gets through to me. And gets through the Mimikyu. Hmm. Future energy boost. Nice. That's a zero retreat cost, right? Hmm. Yeah, no retreat cost and 20 more damage. Nice. Okay. Ooh, nothing. That's not good. Let's try that again. Okay, there's an explorer. Which I can do something with. Um, switch into explorer. Nice. Let's go double turbo energy. Switch. And land collapse. Oh, nice. Those are switch caught gone. I like, guess it doesn't really matter. But those are nest balls out the picture, which is always nice to slow down with. And I know gone, which is good. Because I don't know what their hand situation looks like right now, but I'm hoping it's not good. And they missed their generator. Mm. Mm. Yeah, missed the generator, which is good. 
Mm. Yeah, let's go for it. Doesn't really do much for them. Okay, Tusk. And Guidance. Into a Guidance. And a... Energy? I think Energy here, actually. If I'm a bit worried I don't get like a Vitality or something. Losing the Rod is a bit of a concern. And a pal pad, like losing these two is not fun for me. Um, losing one of each is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I'll put that there. And land collapse. Let's keep going. Nice. I mean, those are good. Two energies, which I need. And another trekking shoes, which I need to get draws out. So yeah, that's good. The more energies I can get rid of, the better. Any little bit I can slow them down with. It's good. Nice. Mm. Guidance. Let's go for... Vitality. And pop pad. Yeah. I'm gonna hold off and pop pad for next turn, though. Let's go. Artisan. Get that down. And I'll double turbo that one. And then land collapse. Cool. Ooh, tech rattle down. Nice. And two Arvins down. Nice. Okay. Let's see. At the moment, they've had a very slow game, which is good for me. Mm hmm. Okay. They're online now. Not quite sure why they used Switch Cart because it had a free retreat cost, but okay. Okay, and we're charging up the Iron Hands EX without a doubt. Yeah. No surprise there. But it is what it is. Um, this good Tusk is going to be going down now, which is a bit sad, but it served me well. So put that there. Put that, I mean, there. Could have gone for a knockout, but I think the mill's worth more. Um, I managed to just have done an artisan first. Let's get that in. I don't want to wait for this pearl pad, because I would like to get both Sardas back. Because Vitality now doesn't do anything. Uh, Explorer's Guidance now doesn't do anything for me. Um, so let's put that there. Oh, that's actually silly, because if I knock out this Maridon, Mimikyu has a free game. Ah, I should have put that energy there. That was actually very silly. Because now I can't Giant Tusk. That was actually very silly. I should have put that there and knocked out this Maridon. Oh well. Barrel gone, generator gone, good. Ro Prof's research is a bit sad, I would have liked them to use it. But that's okay. All right, um, see what they go for. Mm. Good card. What are they taking? And hands EX. All right, that's fine. Try to think how many, I'm curious how many Maridons they're running. Because if it was just the one, I would knock it out. Like, honestly, I'll still knock it out. Because then, um, Hermikyu just has a free game and just sits there. Yeah, I honestly think I'll just do that. Cool, let's put that there. Um, energy, great. So now what I can do is, let's go for, yeah. So let's go Super Rod first. Bring you, bring you, bring you back. All right. Go Artisan. Bring 
you back. We're gonna go Prof's Hutler's Vitality. And we're gonna go one, two. Cool. Drew up nicely. Uh, now I go Pearl Pad. Put the two Vitalities back. One, two. And we actually go for a Giant Tusk this turn. And I'm hoping they're not running another Maridon. Cool. I know I lose Great Tusk now, but that's okay. Hugo, um, Livero. Nice. Hey, mate. Uh, hi, Great Mildek. Thank you so much. Um, I love it. It's lots of fun. Oh, that was a poor choice from them. Um, yeah, no, it's a super, super fun deck. Uh, Great Tusk is awesome. And yeah, I'm glad you enjoy it. I am certainly enjoying playing it. All right, let's go, MVQ. And let's see if I can trap my opponent now. Okay, um, that's Fortune Sisters. What do they have in here? Let's get rid of that. They do have bosses which are still coming, unfortunately. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Um, and let's go Prime Catcher to make their life a little bit more difficult. And let's go Iron Crown. Hmm. That's harder to retreat. Let's go there. And just pass the turn. Cool. Um, yeah, this is a really fun mill deck. It works quite well. Um, it feels a lot better taking the Wog Trios out. Like, Wog Trio was a lot of fun, but too reliable. Unreliable. New hand, that's okay. Especially because it means no boss's orders. So I'm fine with that. Cool. I'm still ahead when it comes to prize cards. Let's go past turn. So a bit of a stall at the moment while I'm waiting to figure something out. It's often, okay. I know they have one more boss's orders. At least one more boss's orders. Okay. Cool. That's fair. Now I go can't catch her. Because this is an EX. Yeah, I'm not getting knocked out, mate. So I'm not quite sure what you're doing. Yep. <laughs> Cool story, bro. Can't catch her. Come say hello. Um, again, just pass the turn. Just rinse, wash, and repeat. Until they get a boss's orders. And they're able to switch out their Iron Crown. They need both of those. That's thing they need both the switch and the bosses. Otherwise they're in trouble. Okay. That's fine. Because now I go Vitality. One, two. Cool. Put an energy there. Crushing hammer. Bit unlucky, but that's fine. So instead I go counter catcher. I'll bring that one out. I retreat this one. Into right tusk. And I mill them. Um I can actually super rod first before I mill them in case they do anything. I want one there just so I can still use vitality. And trainer wise. Pop out. I actually wouldn't mind bringing out Vitality or Sisters. I found both those at this point. And then I go and collapse. Cool. Ah, that's the boss is gone. That's huge. That's really, really big. Um, that's fantastic. Alright. 
No, it's gonna be a tough game for them. There we go. Got it. Nicely done. I'm happy I got that one. That was that could have been a tough one. And that worked out quite nicely. So I got nine wins to six losses. Not bad. Not bad. So that's only mill. Nine to six. Which is I'm very happy with. Because it's like mill decks are very very hit and miss. Very hit and miss. Oh, finally got that off. Yay, nice. Cool. Um, hey, Maxim, it's been a long time, my friend. Yeah. Hi, it's been a long time since your last stream. It's been too long. <laughs> um, it will be a regular thing nowadays. I'm going to be doing every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I might do board game Wednesdays, uh, Pokemon Thursdays, and um, Helldivers Fridays. So I'm streaming again tomorrow, but I'll be playing Helldivers for a bit. Because sadly, I have not played nearly enough of that game. So expect that tomorrow. I do want to go first. No, thank you. Yeah, Maxim, you came in... Weren't you watching a few years ago? I feel like I remember the name. I'm so sure you watched my streams a few years ago when I was playing Pokemon online. Um, let's do that. Oh, this is a perfect setup, actually. This is actually a perfect setup. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I remembered your name. <laughs> that 12-hour stream was... A thing which is not happening anytime soon again by the way <laughs> that was lots of fun um but unfortunately with my new accommodation it's not gonna be a not gonna be a thing but yeah dude i remember you i remember the name um i don't need that done i'm glad to be able to come through again dude it's been a while um thanks so much for coming through and actually chatting i appreciate that again like i've said so many times it's the reason i do it like it's honestly the reason for the streams is a community. And it's the one thing I really do love about Pokemon is that the community is awesome. Um, makes it a lot more interesting. Ooh, playing a Lost Zone. Most likely a Lost Zone. There are a lot of decks which run come phase. But I assume it's gonna be a Lost Zone deck. I run literally a one-off just as a draw mechanic. Let's come phase. Yeah, with a start like that, and two combos, they're probably running Lost Zone. Alright, that's fine. Sorry, these chips are massive. Hmm. They missed their Poke Gear, which is good. Good for me. feel bad for them, but good for me. Let's go there. Go there, double turbo, set up Artisan, let's go into my next great task. let's go Red and Greninja, Concealed Cards, what do I get, Counter Catcher, always good, Spoils Guidance, Hook mm. here, Double Energy I think is the way to do it, alright, don't need Pop Out, don't need anything else, Land Collapse. Starting strong. Turn one, land collapse is what I want to see. There's a Giratina. This is 100% the Lost Zone deck. Got rid of a Buddy Poffin, which is nice to slow them down a little bit. Got rid of a Counter Catcher, which does nothing. There's Cromorant, which is annoying. I need to knock out Cromorant. Roxanne. That would never happen either. All right. Um, yeah, Mr. Chill Streams. Yeah, man, I'm hoping to get those going again. Because, again, like I like these to just sit back, relax, and have some games. So it expects a lot more Chill Streams like this. I'm just sitting back, relaxing, grinding the ladder. I mean, what, I've been here for three hours now, I think. Yeah, three hours. I'm just going through the ladder, which is nice, because I desperately need to rank up quickly. And sit back, relax, talk, and have fun. And eat chips, apparently. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. How many cards are here? I've got four. Ah, get off. Um. So. I basically need a Vitality this turn. I have to get a Vitality this turn. So 
I need to knock out this Cormorant. There's Vitality. Perfect draw. Okay, put one there. We put one there. We're going to be putting one more here. And let's go for Pelpad. I want those two back in my deck, please. And we're getting a knockout here, which is not something I usually do. But I need Cromorant out. Because Cromorant makes it difficult for me to run Mimikyu. Although, to be fair, they are running the um, Sableye as well, which is not easy. They're two very annoying Pokemon for me. Hmm. Now, Sableye is a bit of a problem. If I can get a knock on Sableye as well, I'll be really happy. Really, really happy. Oh. Okay. I mean, it happens. Uh, Maxim, I really liked your theme deck videos because no one else is doing them. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I really love the, that format. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I do like the new starter decks, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I do miss the old theme decks. Um, they're always going to have a special place in my heart. Are you still playing, Maxim? Let's go there, over there. Can't use Count Catcher, unfortunately. Not yet, at least. Um, put an energy there. Let's go for Artisan. We're gonna Mimic you down. And let's go Guidance. I would like a Vitality. I think a Prime Catcher right now wouldn't be, ah, man. Let's put the energies, I should've done this first. Yeah, Prime Catch is still better. Next turn. Um, what do I have here? Don't want to take Sporos back. They're too risky. Land Collapse. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, I need my Vitality to come out. Because uh, I don't really want to be relying on Explorers. Because they mill too many cards. And I've come very close to losing many a time from self-mill, which is a problem. Um, I can now just go for Prime Catcher quickly. Let's bring out the Mana Fee. We're going to Migrate Tusks. Let's spread their damage around a bit. Um, there is a Vitality, which is good. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. I mean... I've got enough there anyway. That makes much of muchness. Do I have anything interesting here? I don't. Oh, they're all my hammers. Uh, now I use Pulp Pad. Put back Vitality and Sisters, actually. And. I don't think I need to use this, right? So it's just a Comfair left. Yeah, it's just a Comfair left, which I don't want. everything. Yeah, nine claps, let's go. Ooh, nice. That's a Mirage Gate down. And a Giratina and Jet NG, NG, nice. Not a bad mill, actually. Not a bad mill at all. I'm happy with that. Why did my phone close? Okay, that was weird. Um... Maxim, uh, yeah, I'm still playing, but I haven't played live since the latest rotation. Oh, okay, fair. I didn't choose my new main deck yet. That's all right, though. There's some really good choices right now. Like, really, really good choices. Um, I, I don't think you could go wrong, honestly. Like, they've... Um, the new Charizard deck is awesome. That's a shocker, I'm sure. Um... 
Yeah, no, the new Charizard deck is awesome. Shin Power is great. Like, you've got literally just ab an abundance of great choices. So you really can't go wrong. That there. Let me be careful, I'm running out of cards in my deck. Mm, the rest of these I don't really need right now. Put 12 damage on your opponent's Pokemon anyway. Like, this lost mine is becoming a problem because you're going to get lost in knockouts all at once. So I kind of want this Great Tusk to go down. Mm. Land collapse, let's go. See what I can get here. Um, nice, that's Temple gone. And another experiment gone, which is always good for me. Okay. That's fine. I'm doing decently. Fine. Knock it out. I don't mind. I'm not getting wins from knockouts, mate. I'm very okay with that. How many vitalities are you here now? Just one. I want to play one more. Guidance now is a bit of a risk. Um, yeah, Guidance now is a bit of a risk. Because I'm running very shy on cards. Let's go Super Rod, bring back those two. One of those. And... How many vitalities are here? Just one. So after my next one, I'll play a Pelpad. Uh, Catcher into Manaphy again. Just to make the laugh a little bit more difficult. And... No, wait. Sorry, not Land Collapse. Let's go Artisan. I want to bring up my next Great Tusk. Now we go Land Collapse. Cool. And we get a good mill. Nice! Very nice. We have Mirage Gator, Iron Leaves. I haven't even seen an Iron Leaves before. Um, you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during the turn, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. If you do, you remove any amount of energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. During your turn, this Pokemon can't attack. That's really cool. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, what do you suggest? Consider my latest deck, because then it was the uh, Mew, VMAX, and ADP, respectively. Um, so, Maxim, the... Hmm. So if you want to play something, oh sorry about that, that was very loud. If you want to play something similar to ADP, the um, Iron Hands EX deck plays quite similarly in the sense that you're taking lots of prize cards, so you're gonna have lots of fun with that. So that's one uh, one option for you. Um, otherwise, honestly, if you want to pick up some wins, mate, Charizard. Charizard's good. Ain't no two ways about it. Um, but yeah, if you want something similar to ADP, then go the go the Iron Hands route. Let's put these two back in. So electric base deck with Maridons, um, Iron Crown EXs, and Iron Hands EX for Ambu very much. So whenever you get a knockout with it, you're getting one more prize card, which I mean is amazing. You know it's amazing. You know how valuable that is. Um, let's go for land claps here. So yeah, if you enjoyed ADP, you will enjoy that. And it's a really good deck at the moment. Um, I think one of Bennett. Okay. Um, it's doing really, really well. And it'll serve you well on the ladder as well. Okay, they got their Cormorant back in. But they are running out of time. They're running very shy on time. Hmm. Put that forward. Get another Vitality. Let's go Vitality. Charge up there, charge up there. Got the cards, great. Let's go Pell Pad. Put one, two back in. So at the moment I just need cards in my Discord pile. I have cards in my library. Let's go here, bring one, two back. Um... Let me leave that there just in case. Actually thought I had more. And 
Let's use this. Let's bring our Grey Tusk. Counter. Bring back Manaphy. And let's go Land Collapse. Mm. Yes. Yes. Cool. You got two cards left. Uh, at this point, I don't think there's a way for them to win. Because my next turn, I'll mill them out. What's your man deck? You are looking at it, my friend. Um, I'm running mill. <laughs> uh, I, I enjoy it. Because it's, it's not the standard way to play. And it's always fun to watch. And to mess around with it. So it's one I prefer. So yeah, this is my main deck. Um, as weird and wonderful as it is. I enjoy it. I love playing Mill. Um, and I mean, I think I've said it before, is that I enjoy the... I enjoy the decks that let you win in an alternative way. I enjoy finding alternative ways to win games. Be it different ways to get VPs or such. So, this is one I really do enjoy. Um, I think it's really interesting. Cool. I think it's really interesting. And the mechanic whereby you can possibly take out your opponent's key cards before they even get to play them, I find very interesting. Um, and a fun way to play. Cool. New tier unlock. Tier 24. What am I getting for tier 24? Ooh. Booster pack. Let me see. What do I get from the booster pack? Something nice. Something shiny. Bronzor. I guess that's shiny. Galette. Human. Crocodile. I have crocodile artwork. Oh, very nice and crown. It's my last one, I think. And a women's card, wafting heal. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may heal all damage from your active grass Pokemon. If you would any damage this way, discard all energy from that Pokemon. Meh, meh. I have to really think hard to make a deck around that. Cool. Um, let's keep going. Most important thing is the enjoyment of playing the deck. So. It depends what you want the deck to do. So again, the Charizard finishes fast. It plays super, super fast. Um, Maridon, Maridon's consistent. And it's fun going into the Iron Hands because you're very good against single prize Pokemon and you can pull those out quite easily. Um, and there's some matchups which are very easy for you. Um, other than that, what's fun to play at the moment? There's an interesting Bennett deck, if you want to have a look at it, but I think it's Bennett EX, whereby your opponent can't play item cards. And that's quite fun to play. Well, look, I find that fun. I don't know if you do as well. But the one Bennett deck at the moment, essentially item locks your opponent, so they can't play any items, and you slow them down a lot. So that's a fun way to do it. Um, Jin Power is still great. Uh, super, super powerful deck. Um, and it is... Quite glass cannony, quite glass cannony, but it plays super super well. So that's always a great option. Oh, okay, shall be nice. Um, hmm. Let's go over here because I think I need a Pokemon. And over there, actually no, let's go over here. It's an early game. Let's get those two out. Cool. Let's go one. Let's go conceal cards. On oh, concealed cards, sorry. Can I? Oh, I can't get. Never mind. Um, hmm. What do I want to do? I wish I had a switch right now. I really wish I had a switch right now. Put that there. And I guess just pass the turn. Yeah, so Shinpao is really nice if you want to play Glass Cannon. And really nice energy acceleration. Um, with Backscallion. Because you're essentially just playing out all the energies from your hand. <laughs> nice. That's quite for youngster. Um. It's gonna put an orca spot on here. It's raiding Greninja out. That's not the way to do it. 
Um, crushing hammer. Try and slow down a little bit. Nothing. I'm actually gonna go for Misfortune Sisters. Don't wanna save the um, guidance for when I've got a great tusk out. I'm just pass the turn. Cool. Yeah, when you run Eerie rather than Sisters. So like my idea was like I ran I run sisters to get their deck size down. Um, mm, all right. When I got big hands like this, Eerie's just better. I'm gonna need to run like two two. Two of each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about bringing it in. It'll just help, like, deal with their cards a bit faster. Alright, game on. Okay, now the game starts. I'm sad we didn't go ninja so early. Um, because it could have been great value. But sadly, it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna go for Vitalities. Um, we got Nest Ball. Let's get another great Tusk down for now. And the trainers is still happy. I don't want more explorers at this point. Uh, actually, it's still nice and early. I can, still, I can actually go for an explorer. It's early enough that they're not bad. Let's put those two back in. Counter catcher, yes, please. Let's go into. Fridge backs. And land collapsing. Well, let's go. Let's start milling. Ooh, that was a lot of energies. And Irida. Nice. That was actually a pretty good mill. Now, the thing is, I know they do run... Uh, this deck 100% runs um, superior energy retrieval. So they're going to be getting them back. I don't doubt that for a second. So I can slow them down. Great. Heroescape does nothing, so I'm happy seeing that. Mill deck, I'm happy with that. Thank you. What is my opponent running here? I like your rogue deck, my friend. I like it. I respect it. Nice. This is a wild deck. You're gonna see a Blatos come out soon. Gyarados come out soon. That's Galiba come out soon. Chin Pao. Glacian V. This is a wild ride. Alright, one, two. Put those two down forward. There's Mimikyu, which is nice to see. Let's go Pelpad. Let's go one. Mm, guidance at this point in time is dangerous. But let me go for it. The issue with Guidance is you mill a lot of your own cards. Which is a concern. And let's go Land Claps. Cool. Ooh. Oh, there's one of the Gyarados has got down. Which Gyarados are they running? Many players Pokemon can have to evolve a new Pokemon. You can turn your mate, discard the top five cards of your deck. Oh, you may. Oh, you must. Oh, man, don't play that. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you must discard the top five cards of your deck. Energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, I see what my opponent's doing. If they evolve, they're in serious trouble. Once you can turn, you may search your deck for up to six energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like, then shuffle your deck. If you use the ability, your turn end, ends. If they evolve those Magic Carp, they are... No, they're putting themselves in a really bad spot. Like, they're better off just going for the Shin Power as your main attacker. They're out of their mind if they go for Gyaradoses. Like, I see the logic. I do. But it's not going to end well for them.
Yeah, good choice. Don't do that, buddy. And avoid the Gyaradoses. Like, don't don't make my life easier. Okay, cool. Got it. I take one of these off to make it just a little bit more difficult. I think you can get it back relatively easily, but um, the easier it is for me, the better. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to get a um, vitality a vitality off this turn. But that's all right. That's a switch gone though. That's still a very good mill. I'm happy with that. To be fair, they have 11 cards in hand. They must have a way to get out. Okay. You never see Rhyme. It's actually a really cool card. Draw three and force your opponent to switch. It's actually a really cool card. I like it. Land collapse, all I can do. They are running out of time though, very fast. But I think I'm at the point where, unless they have like I know as a way to reshuffle their hand, they're in serious trouble. Mm. Good choice. Good choice. Because you want to be able to reset your hand. That is a nice interaction with the Gyarados though. If they're able to get their hand low enough, like Gyarados only discards like two or three cards, they can reset the youngster, which will be quite fun. And a good play. Hmm. Okay. Um. Bit of a slow few turns because I haven't had any energies in my discard pile, which has been a bit annoying. Um, so just attaching, charging my great tusks, slowly land collapsing them. I do wish the standard land collapse was two, not one. So like two if you don't play a supporter, four if you do. That would be great, but I guess a bit too broken. Um, the sad thing is here. This Great Tusk is going down this turn. Ooh, nice. Oh, they're running the EX versions. Oh, that's really cool. 360 is a huge hit. That's super cool. Alright. Well, Great Tusk is definitely going down. 210. That's fair. I respect that. Um, let's get the next one going forward. I can finally use Vitality again, which is amazing. And a counter catcher to annoy my opponent. So a counter catcher, bring up Excalion. Oh, Octobax, sorry. Um, let's go Super Rod. Bring that, bring that back. Energies can stay there. I don't want to bring energy back. Let's go Vitality. Put one energy there. And done. Cool, not bad. Um, yeah, land collapse. Let's go. Down three. If I can get one more land collapse off, I win. Go, uh, well, depending on whether they're able to reset again or not. Let's see. Let's see if they can get a reset off. They do run a lot of supporters, reset their hand like that one. I should still have it though. Okay. Let's see what they do. Nice. Alright. Not bad. What do we want now? 10 wins? Yeah, 10 to 6. Not a bad win-loss ratio, actually. I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Alright. Uh, next game. Nope. I opened the wrong window. Hey, and rank up. That was a good game. Alright. Let's keep this going. Oh, I might actually stop in half an hour. <laughs> I haven't sat in game for like five hours straight in a long time. I would. It's been what, four hours? 
Two and a half hours, yeah. Okay, let's see how far I can get. OP Hellscream, I appreciate that name. Nice. Old school Warcraft fan. And heads, can I choose please? I want to go second. Thank you. Let me go second. Okay, can I get the first turn mill going? Hmm, that's not awful. I'm not gonna be first turn mill. That's not awful. Uh, Comfey early game is nice. It just gets the draw mechanic going. Oh, they're running this deck. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. I think I'll still be okay with this deck. I'm getting to draw three cards? Three cards. So I could get lucky. Because the thing is, if I can get into a... Not that. Um, do I need to get into a double energy? And I need to get into a... Um, Explorer. If I can get that, that'll be a great start. Because I can essentially prime... Prime catcher my... Great Tusk forward, which I'll get from Nest Ball. So, Nest Ball, Great Tusk. Prime catch it to bring it to the front spot. And then, or I can use Artisan. And then, I just need the double end team. And I need the Explorer. Ooh, nice good enter. And that'll be the perfect setup. But let's see if I can get that right. Okay, going Earthen Vessel, getting rid of a Glade. And giving me two energies then. It's the Buddy Glade, right? Yeah, Buddy Catch Glade. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. They got their Greninja set up turn one, which is a bit annoying. Um, I might actually do that with Nest Ball. Let's get Artisan for the our uh, um, Great Tusk. And then go Nest Ball to get Greninja out. Might be a better start. Yeah, I like that more, actually. I must just use uh, Flower Selecting first before I forget about it. Because I'm likely to forget about it. So I basically need top deck, double energy. And then I need to draw into um, Explorer. Or the other way around. Explorer is more likely. If I can get an Explorer, that'll be great. Then I'll be really happy. Please go to Mimikyu. Please go to Mimikyu. <gasps> Thank you. Okay. Actually, Mimikyu's damage is a bit annoying. That could be frustrating. Mm, that's not a draw I wanted. Okay. Give me an explorer. That's not an explorer. Um, I mean, I'll go for it. If I don't get anything else, I'm going to play it. But it's not great. Um, so let's go nest ball. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. My Greninja, my Greninja is a prize card. Oh no, that's not good. Um, well, that changes my plans a little bit. Okay, well, I guess let's go for sisters. Gets rid of a rare candy, I'm not complaining. Um, and I guess I'm going to start just charging that up. Yeah, that's it. Oh no, Greninja, Greninja's a prize card. My friend, I need you. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Okay, um, I guess I can get a heavy ball. I do run two, two heavy balls, I think. So it can still come out, it's not the end of the world. It's just not the easiest way to do it. Okay. Mm, nice. I got the curly, I got the oven, that's nice. Refinement is such a nice card, and it's so nice seeing a stage 1 Pokemon, which is depressingly rare these days. Because everyone just runs rare candies, and just skips stage 1. Yes, mill. Please, mill yourself. Draw those cards. Ooh, okay.
You must have another one, obviously. Otherwise, they wouldn't so happily get discarded. That's annoying. Mimic Q and Scream Tail are going to be a really annoying combo, actually. I don't think that's where this deck was going. Uh, if they get that off, it's going to be frustrating. Because I can hit my bench. Hmm. It's coming. Um. I need an energy this turn. I really need an energy this turn. Oh, come here, man. Can't get the chip. Okay, they double turbo. So let's go flower selecting first. What do I get? Check double turbo. Okay. I was really hoping for a supporter there. Um, it's a great task. I should have done that first to increase my chances of drawing a supporter. Prime catcher. Come set a low Greninja. Come set a low great task. Let's get double energy down. Uh, Crushing Hammer now does nothing. Let's get a Mimic you down. And let's go Land Collapse. Okay, just one. Not nearly enough. I've gotten really unlucky with supporters this game, considering I haven't drawn any. Or any um, Explorers or any Vitalities. The ones that matter for me. So let's hope we get something out soon. The nice thing is my opponent is drawing a lot. So the more they draw, the better off I am. But it's still not a great spot to be in. I do need to get my... It's been, like, I've taken too long to get Great Tusk online, which is a problem. There's Arvin, nice. Now they're doing a better job in milling than I am. Nice. Ancient Booster and... Um, what's the other one? A few ball. Nice. Like, it's really annoying. I'm running four, four Vitalities, four Explorers, and I think three um, Poke Gears. So the fact that I still don't out yet is crazy. Like, I don't know how I still haven't gotten one out yet. I'm gonna say all prize cards. Mm. Yeah. It's coming. It's a wild deck. This is a wild deck. Just look, they've got a raging, I suppose, raging bolt or something here. Yeah, they've got a raging bolt as well. This is a wild deck. Each damage counter on this Pokemon. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Two, four, six, eight. Eighty damage so far. Maybe a two-turn knockout then. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, that's rude. My comfy. How dare you? There we go. Game on. Um, yes, finally, game on. Okay. Crushing hammer. Cool. Let's just slow it down. Anything we can do to slow it down. Um, yeah, get rid of that. That would kind of help them, I guess, but yeah. Let's go. Artisan. 
I got one more. Nice. Let's go. Mm, let's go counter catcher. Over there. Okay. Um, and now let's go proper land claps. I should play double turbo energy actually. That was silly. There we go. Got rid of an Ino and an Orphan. Which is really good. I'm happy with that. Now the game is on. The game is afoot. Please draw more. Please draw more. Okay. I'm only happy with that happening. Because I still need to get through five prize cards. Like, it's not happening easily. So, yeah, I'm very happy with this. Yep, the fine man. Yep, draw more. Go down 12. Go for it, mate. The more you can mow yourself, the better. They are running Iono, though, I think, which is a slight issue. So they can get their prize cards down to like one or two in Iono. That is a slight problem, so I do need to try and get Iono out. Or mill, mill it out. Okay. Let's see if we get some gusting going now. I wonder if it's worth knocking the scream tail out. Okay, next turn. With vitality. How many do you think they're running? Or do I just go for mill? Yeah, let's go for mill, right? I think I have to go for mill. Well, I guess a better way of doing it. Yeah, there's Greninja. Shocking. Finally made an appearance. Uh, I'm gonna hold off and play until I need it. Uh, Pokemon wise, I don't need it just yet. Pelpad, I think I can use Pelpad now, right? Hmm, did I only play one? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just go, nine claps. Oh wait, let's drop this energy down. Ah, oh, it's got nine claps. Ooh, got two of the vitalities. Nice. There's another scream tail gone. Should I even have that many more scream tails? Surely not. Oh, hell scream. In terms of scream tail. Haha, <laughs> funny. I get it. Why is my Discord pile changing? That's weird. Um, I thought the Hell's Scream was a, a Warcraft reference, but I assume it's meaning Scream Tail. Okay. Um, so if I draw a Vitality, right, I can knock out the Scream Tail. Or. I just go for their cards. But like I know they're running Iono. They must be running Iono. Like there's no reason that like there's no chance they're not, right? Oh that kind of catch is actually really good. Um, yeah, let's do that. Like there's no way they're not running counter catcher. I don't want to kind of catch the, the, there's no way they don't have at least another Iono left. Do I need pop hat now? Uh, not really. I'll wait until I've played the Vitalities, because I don't want to play any more Explorers. They're too risky. Um. Bring that out. And yeah, just land collapse. Mm, wait, let me put an energy down. Now land collapse. 
There's another Iono down. So that's two I've milled so far. Now, how many do you think they're running? Like, are they running the full four? Because, like, if they're running the full four, I'm in trouble. I mean, you can take my stadium, mate. It's a bit late for that, but sure. So they need a gust. Or they need an energy to retreat with. But they don't. Alright, that's another win. Man, this has been a pretty good day. 11 to 6. That, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm very okay with that. I wouldn't lost ratio at this point. Okay, yeah. Let's jump into one more. I think I might just have one more because I'm actually getting exhausted from doing this for so long. Um, I think jumping into like a five hour stream for my first time was a bit much. Oh. Oh, I need one of those walking desks. Well, the ones I can like raise up and then I can like get a treadmill or something. Because like sitting the whole time is horrible. That's so excessive. <laughs> It'd be so excessive getting one of those desks. Oh, man. Just to give me an option to do something different, because just standing here the whole just sitting here the whole day is tiring. Which is a really ironic thing to say. Okay, let's see what's going up. Please, I'm going first. I don't want to go first. Don't make me go first. Ugh. Ugly starting hand. Well, it's actually not that bad. Like, a good top deck could, could have made this a fantastic deck. And we're playing Moraidon, Iron Valiant? Oh, good turn two. Very good turn two potential, actually. Um, yeah, this could be a really good turn two. Let's put that there. Heavy ball. What's here? I got a, I'm missing one Pearl Pad and one Vitality. I'm missing two Turbos. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it could be worse, but it's not great either. Um, cool, let's pass turn. So, next turn. Between Guidance and my draw, I should get an energy. So between those two, I should get an energy, which will set up my Great Tusk. Um, and then I can essentially go from there. Man, Uncrown EX is such a nice supporter Pokemon. Just sitting on the bench, buffing up at 20 damage. It adds up. Because it, it enables you to hit those breakpoints much easier. Because I mean, without it, it's sitting at 4, 8, 12, 16. 4 attacks from right on. Down to 2. Which is fantastic, having those two Iron Crowns there. So yeah, that turn 1 Techno Radar is amazing. Really, really, really good. Yeah, that's great value. Really great value, actually. Alright. And we have a Zen Blade or Gemini Laser build. Interesting. Okay. Um Let's put that there. So I need to get not this. I need an energy. Um I can't even Greninja. Hmm. Yeah, I need good energy controls. I know I can't do it now, but... Yeah. Not a great start. Really not a great start. I'm actually going to go into Kumpfei. I want to save this Great Tusk. I know Kumpfei only buys me a turn, but... Let's see what I get. And... Eee. Maybe buys me more than a turn. If I can get one more, that'd be great. Let's go. One more hammer. Uh, hey! Look at this. Oh, this is why I run crushing hammers. Um, Confei. That was two perfect hammers. Oh, I want both of these. That's annoying. 
All right. Um, yeah, past turn. All right. Um, I've got no energy in my discard pile yet. Mm. See, Techno Radar. Okay, they must have another energy in hand if they're really if they're willing to discard one. Iron hands. I hate seeing iron hands. Oh, it's so hard to play into. Yeah, there's the other energy. <laughs> and the generator. Sorted. So what if that's like a prof research or something? Um Yeah, this is this is awkward. This is very awkward. I'm gonna go into my wounded one because I need that energy in the scar pile. Crushing hammer. Hey. Three times? Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay. Um give MQ down for now. And then Artisan get our great tusk. Yeah, I've bricked hard this game. I should have taken the other guidance. Instead. To try and just get down to energies. This good energy hasn't done me anything yet. Just annoying, without a doubt. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay. Um. Yeah, Iron Crown is online. A great task. And vitality. Put that there. Because I need to go for an early prime catch up, which I'd normally not like doing. But I need to buy myself some time. And I'm just hoping this buys me a turn or two. I just need a turn or two. Okay, that could buy me another turn. Which is not bad. Nothing left. Okay. This is going to be a hard game. This is going to be a really hard game. So I'm playing into a deck that's a challenge for me as is. And then I've had bad draws on top of that. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, hey? They got it. I was really hoping I didn't have it in hand. Because I can go into Iron Hands. And now the game gets hard. The game gets very hard. So the question is, do I go into Mimikyu and try and sort it out? Or do I go into Great Tusk and hope to get an energy? I think the answer here is Mimikyu. Yeah, I've lost this one though. Um, I needed to be milling from turn one against an Iron Hands deck, and that didn't happen. Okay. I mean, our great catcher try and slow them down any little bit I can. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be enough though. Super broad. That's good. I need to get these back. Uh, one of these back. So that is good, but again, against Iron Hands, it's it's really awkward because they can take two prize cards from my single Pokemon. The game just goes too fast. The game goes way too fast. Um. Yeah, and like for me to win this, I need their game to go really badly, which hasn't happened. Um. Yeah. It hasn't happened. Let's see. I mean, look, the game's not over. They've still got 27 cards left, but it's unlikely. Sitting on two prize cards playing into Iron Hands, it's it's not likely to last for long. There you go. Bit of a slowdown. But now the problem is, I know that they can draw. Nope. Nope, nope. Okay. 
Yeah, I think this is just going to go down as a loss. Um, I'm just booked up, which is annoying. Yeah, there's switch card. Into Maridon, which gets knock out on Q. So I have to go with Great Task next. And yeah, just hope they don't get another switch. If they get one more gas, they won, essentially. That's that's the end of it. So I gotta go through 26 cards without a single switch happening. That's unlikely. Yeah. Eh, you win some, you lose some. And unfortunately, this is just a really bad matchup for me. But I think going with the Greninja early was a mistake. I should have gone for the Explorers. Yeah. I should go with the Explorers. It's great. I literally ran into, what, four counter catches. Which is tons of fun. But not when I needed them. Um, yeah, that's my ride on putting some work this game. Right, I'm putting lots of work this game. There's Prof's research for a new hand. They just, they're, they're just, there you go, switch. That's game. Yeah, they're digging for the switch. Well played to my opponent. It's, yeah, it's a hard matchup. It's definitely a hard matchup. Cool, well played. So what do you want now? Nine... We're on 11 to 7. That's not bad. I'm still kind of okay with that one last ratio. Nice. Okay, let's go. Um, I think I might have one more. I'm actually really tired. Um, you should. His DCM is way stronger. Bro, not even fair. His deck is way stronger, bro. Yeah, it's... It's a bad matchup. Um, Iron Hands is arguably my worst. Um, my worst matchup is Iron Hands. Because it plays fast, which is bad for me. Takes two prize cards, which is atrocious for me. Um, and the combination between those two just uh, beats up my deck. Um, the fact that I'm playing a single prize card deck means I cannot... Like, I don't have the power to knock out his Pokemon. Um, and, like, I'm playing for a longer game. Which doesn't work. If your opponent's taking two prize cards, it just doesn't work. Okay, please give me the second turn. Thank you. I like going second. Mm. Not the hand like that. Although it's nice to see that I actually do have supporters in my deck. I didn't make a showing last turn. Oh, last game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, okay. If Vitality was an explorer, I'd feel much happier about this hand. Um, sadly, it is not. Okay. Buddy, buddy, Puffin, Charizard deck? I would assume a Charizard deck. Let's see. What are they going to bring forward? Anything? Yeah, Charizard deck. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. If I get a nice top deck, because if I can get into an Explorer, and I can dig with Explorer into Turbo, I'm good. Um, because I've got a Poke Gear, so I'm gonna try and Poke Gear into Explorer. Um, to try and get turn one mill going. First, let's see if I can get that. That's not what I wanted. All right, let's go poke here. No explorer. Okay. Oh, there was a turbo. That's sad. Okay, that's fine. Let's get the great test done, get the energy down, and then pass the turn. Yep, that's it. Pass the turn. All right, no turn one mill, but hey, it's fine. Um, going from here, essentially, I can go Vitality. So if they knock out Great Tusk, that's a good thing for me, because then I can Vitality and Energy my next one. So best case scenario, they actually knock out this Great Tusk. Um, they don't, it's going to be a little bit of a slower start. 
and then essentially you're gonna have to take it from there. Let's see, the Rotom Vs are interesting. And Luminion. Ooh, what support did they get for the Luminion? They're gonna get. What's they getting? Um they got a huge fat hand right now. So I assume an Arvin. Yeah. And Arvin gets them Charizard. I'll put you up for that matter. Yep, rare candy. Yeah, I still strongly agree that rare candy shouldn't work on rule card Pokemon. Or rule box Pokemon. Yep, there's the Pidgeot. And quick search is in play. Oh, it's gonna be a fast game. Mm. Okay. Let us see. Um. Nice thing is they are going through their deck pretty quickly, which is nice for me. But the problem is that's Charizard, turn three. Or turn two? Turn two. Yeah, turn two Charizard. Like, it's wild. Like, <laughs> so like, this is the issue I have with Yu-Gi-Oh! is the power creep, where like, we're sitting on turn two, and my opponent's got two stage twos out. One of which is sitting with two energies and charged up. And they both evolved via, uh, via, um, rare candy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, again, like, it's nothing against the player. Like, they're doing the best with the resources they have. But just from a design perspective, Rare Candy is such a problematic card. Such a problematic card. Anyway. Um, yeah. Well, on the plus side, I got knocked out, which means I can get Vitality off this turn. Uh, Pearl Pad is not really what I need right now. But, anyway. Um, let's get that down there. That is a Mimikyu, which can be useful for me. And a Nest Ball. Let's bring out a Greninja. Yeah, let's bring out Greninja, Greninja at this point. Uh, nothing else I want to do. Yeah, nothing else I want to do. Land Collapse. Okay. Ooh, nice. Got Prime Catcher out. Alright, so Land Collapse got rid of Energy, Charmander, Ino, and Prime Catcher. So Ino and Prime Catcher are two huge value targets. Because the Iono is a problem because they reset their, their deck essentially. So late game it saves them. And the Prime Catcher is always a problem because they can take out what they want to take out. So getting rid of Greninja now is annoying, but it's fine. Quote unquote. It's not the end of the world. Um, I might throw Mimikyu forward just to buy myself some time. Because... I mean, they can attack a Charmander, I guess. But yeah, I need to try and buy myself some time quickly. Uh, I need to reset this, the my board. All right, Crushing Hammer. I'll hold off on Crushing Hammer for now because it might be useful to get stuff off of them. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, nothing really. Okay, they've got at least one more boss and two more Ionos, which is an issue. Okay. Um. I'm actually happy super rotting those two. Let's put those, those two back in the deck. And just pass the turn. Okay, let's see what happens. So we're going to try and hold off with Crushing Hammer, and then use Crushing Hammer on the... or either Charmander or Charmeleon, whichever route they go. Um, like, I know they run bosses so they can get around Mimikyu, but at some point they still need to deal with it. And the Charmander Charmeleon line is the way to deal with us, essentially. If they evolve that Charmander, my word, I'll be happy. I'll be incredibly happy. Um, that's typically why I like to save Mimikyu until later. But I was a bit worried I wouldn't be able to get it out. Which is why I dropped it a bit earlier than I would have liked. Um, hence why I'm saving the Crushing Hammers to try and deal with whatever threat is against Mimikyu. Is my hope, at least. Um... 
But yeah, let's let's see what happens. I do need to get some draws going though. Like I need, I desperately need exploration at this point, just to try and like fix my deck a little bit. Okay, what are they taking though? They can take a bosses and just hit my great tusk. Um, or Charmeleon to knock my Mimikyu. Either way, like either way is good for them. Um, how many more bosses do they have? At least one. I don't remember. I do remember seeing at least one more. So there's at least one more boss and at least two more Ionos in their deck. So uh, I'm still not in a great spot. Yeah, still not in a great spot. But let's see what they can do. Hmm, let's see what they can do. Uh, Mimikyu might buy me some time. And I mean, like, if they don't have stuff for the Charmander line, then great. I'm sitting pretty. But, yeah, it's going to come down to that, essentially. Hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, awful draw. Nothing for my side, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Sometimes it just happens. I uh, just don't have answers. That's a bit sad. Um, it looks like they're bricking a bit as well, though. They don't have answers for my side. Um, I don't know what we're going to do, mate. Mm -hmm. I've got nothing either. Like, if you could see my hand. Like, <laughs> i got nothing. <coughs> Listen to me. Um, yeah, I can't do anything. I really can't. My best bet is just to stall the game out for a while. I know it's boring as anything. Um, <laughs> they actually don't want to play the game. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'll take that win. Hey, th that was a win from boredom. Cool. I will happily take that. So, 12 for 7. Not bad for the uh, road to rank so far. Um, yeah, I do think I'm going to call it here. I know it's an hour early. Um, but yeah, <laughs> this has been a good four hours, but I think four hours are a good place to take a break. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you so much for everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. This was tons of fun. Uh, I'm glad I got around to getting some stream games going again. Uh, if you came around for the chat, thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate that time spent and being able to actually chat with everyone again is tons of fun. And yeah, tomorrow expect some Helldivers. All right. As always, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Today was really, really fun. And yeah, well, until next time, cheers, everyone. Enjoy.